kicked on the turret here. No, I think it's just going looks in. a bit dangerous. Oh, no. Those good are trying to fight here. Gets the kill off as well on yeah. the And also the plan is to blind pick, but then... If you're valuing the Callista Crush this highly, then... Oh, the flashing yeah. edge here, but Tilt with the hook here! Not predicting the flash there, but then again, the three gauge comes here from Skewed though, trying to chase down Ray and picks up the kill here. Wonderful engage from Absol yeah, into the bucket. Look for Dive Spice, has the ultimate oh, available. Oh, look at it, it looks salty! Four man, three man looks salty here from Isu, trying to look for the kill. Skewed on the backside here. Gets a wonderful kick on to Isu, but nothing more is going to happen here. Ooh, yeah, nobody were follow up on the uh, look find. Oh. But it's like getting a three man ulti like that. Oh, oh, he's good as well. Doing a good job on this in this game. He is indeed uh, snowballing really heavily uh, after the early game. Getting most Oh, look at mid lane. Back. There comes the catch through though, but no flat for here, and that's a kill. Or just lies here, oh, redeeming no. himself. Yeah, this time. Super important blind. Another ult from uh, Winston. Oh, oh, yeah, that might be a dive into top lane, Winston's. Look at Skewed, yeah, yeah, the ult, and there goes through Damon. Unstoppable under the Sherry Banderas, trying to survive here, but I don't think you're going to do that. Flashes the Q there, wonderful. And the kill goes through, Skewed picks up. Yeah. They're really low right now. Oh, uh, and it's going to be hard getting back in. They do have an Ocean Dragon, but still, like, they're going to have to stall for a while. Like, when uh, Hamer, like this, you just talked about, when Hamer has time to set up. Time to push down this Oh, the ult there gets the kill on the Rayan! I see what a wonderful killer. That is going to turn around the fight here for Rich Gang. That is going to turn around the fight here for Rich Gang. And look at the Drake here, 5,000 HP, but the positioning Bandera still has to open available. That flash comes through here from Aizu, looking to get the engager on through the support Bandera's off to the oh. backline here. Gets a wonderful engager into three people, and they get the kill on this here as well. Oh, by the way. Oh. It's like, um, Aizu is almost killing through them, shit. Yeah, and as well, they're being the only AP carry for uh, Rage Gang as well, so... Not that much incentive to buy a magic resist this game, so it's going to be a... Oh, the catch here as well! Yeah. I see! What was that? And the tilt thing is just right, trying to fight up Skewed and Sahira. The damage goes through, though. That's a kill over to Absolve. Sahira yeah, picking uh, that up. They kind of put in with Ice here, though. I'm not sure if this is correct for chasing kills instead of just taking the mid turret. But they are going for it, and uh, the jump uh, misses. Uh, but nobody's moving there. They ping the Baron. Like this, like basing. 5k HP, Absolve there with a smart play. Ooh. That seems this, to be a Baron yeah. going over to Absolve here. The they using ping it, so it's really surprising that nobody's checking it. Oh, and the Baron there goes over. Yeah. Wonderful from it. And there's the engage. Oh, also, no, Spice here trying to get the smite off, but that's Scooter into the backline here. And the smite goes over. I still being the hero of Rich Gang here. Gets the smite off of the Drake here. Wonderful player. And also gets the root off to the Heimerling. And that's a big shield and knock up from Bandera's, but that's not enough. With a couple of items as well and some life steal now. Going to be hard to take down. Thresh. Tug here gets the hook up. Oh, he hits it off to Scooter. Wonderful hook here from Scooter. Oh, quick here, but that. It looks to be a kill yeah, here. What the hook. Scooter doing there, by the way? Taking off the kill here. Going to look for the smite steal. Look at Banderas into the backside here, though. Trying to get kills off. Scooter gets a kill onto Banderas, though. Two kills goes over. Absolve. Yeah, they can't really follow here. because they have to run through Heimer turrets. So it's so hard when they already have a setup. Oh, and the flash here onto the look there. Look at Sider. Right now, they can only play range uh, with the ISO. Look at Slicer trying to get a kill off from Sahira. Uh, flash I mean, it, goes in. Look for yeah, the killer. The execute uh, goes down. I think it's a bit too much. I think you just have to give this uh, Baron uh, with the uh, poke here. That is disgusting from uh, yeah. Winston. The hook here off to Psycho as well. Goes into the back line. Big ult here from Isu, but that's absolved going into the base here. Oh, actually, the uh, Sinsa ultimate there negates the uh, Elder Dragon uh, execute. Oh. But uh, <laughs> tried to clear the wave. Just stand here, look at the damage from Zahira. Absolved Rhea pushing down the turrets as well here. The hook goes on the side to again. Awesome. Wonderful catch him and Scooter gets up Aizu with a fantastic kick here into the back line. Absolved going to clean up this game. Game number one here goes over to Absolved. Oh. For Slice, but Slice is probably covering this. No, he's waiting for the crab oh, or maybe yeah. in the front. Scooter with a positioning yeah. here. It's a really scary timing while uh, Slice is no, doing the crab. This is, oh, this is so 
low batter, the lantern flash out here. Saito tries to get away here, not going to click that lantern. First float over to Scooter in the bottom lane. Flash on Tristana. That is not going to be killed. Flash in there from the Slice though onto the Flash. There's Nautilus there. One more auto. It's not enough. Side to go down. And Scooter picks up another kill in the bot lane. Two kills goes over here for, for Absol. That's a terrible play here. Absol going to pick up everything. Nico, double kill over choose Aizu here. Oh, double kill over choose Aizu here. It's going to get off the old Dismal Pearson. A lot of damage. Three kills from Aizu so far in this fight here. And uh, Bandera's not going to pull off here. And it's going to be yeah, I think that's a good call, but honestly, it's such a disaster from Rich Gang. They played it so well early. Listening here from the support, going to look for something. Rhea has no flash there this time. Banderas, Lancer goes in. That's a flash all day, Banderas. Flashes beyond the ultimate there. Rhea going, going to get down the damage on to Thug here. And that's Banderas oh. not getting the kill. A terrible play here for uh, Rich Gang. Hell down soon. Uh, otherwise, this swap has been for nothing, really. Banderas trading in the top side though, that is going uh, to be a trade really back. Go, what go. are you doing? Yeah. Rage is going down and going to int himself. The kill over to Banderas here in the top lane. Dodges the Q there from Nautilus and Slice going to save his top lane. Down. Slice a little bit of HP survives though with a slither of health in this fighter. Scoot against Cat. Fought here and that's a damage. Thug not going to get the kill through and Scoot with so little HP here on the lead in. Not going to die here as Rhea picks up another kill. Again, it's so good. The kills and they also get the hound. Yeah, disaster strikes again here for Rich Gang. And as you said, it's it, it are it, like it is this. Whoa, top lane. Uh, Bandera is getting uh, another solo kill. Yeah, big shutdown line. Big viewer. Uh, uh, so if you can just run him down. Slice showing, not showing himself in the top side. Quinston has flash here, going to probably get away here. Yeah, looks like they us. do not. I mean, they don't have any. That way to... goes down there. The yeah. passive coincidence. They're going to chase down under the turret as that Banderas is tanking. That's a kill onto the top side. Okay. The early skirmishes that went through. Uh, okay. Is that a dead Mundo? Quinston going to overextend again here. Look at Nico as well, roaming to get okay. killed. Teleport as well, Sahira. Oh, Bandera. No, I see. Wonderful player here from the mid lane. Rich Gang getting another kill. And just He's going to go and get a lot of damage through, uh, through no matter what. Slice is going to be a tank here. And Bandera's when you have your 401 here on the floor. That is. Ooh, the hook here onto mid lane, though. That's a kill going through here. Rich Gang. I see. Flashes away uh, here. I flash yeah. up on the list and Q on him. Really unfortunate if she's playing backline. Seems like it, but look at Absol here though, getting in the position and the prior onto the Drake here in the bottom side. The stun goes through on Suicidal. That might be a one shot kill here from the mid lane of yeah. Absol. The goal is also going to go down a double kill of Drew Sahira. Yeah. Absol with the early assault point. I don't think you can face check this Hook slice. There onto slice though. That's Ray being catched off by Isu again with a beautiful catch here onto Ray. Absol getting the kill here though. That's kill. And Rick. Bandera is flashing beyond. And that's a kick. That's then though from Sahira. That much damage coming through from the Syndra. Look at the flash here also from Isu. Going to get a catch onto the back line here. Bandera is picking up one kill into the back line. It's right. Going in. Looking for Scooter. Quinstens and Rhea. The position though getting a kill. Wonderful hook here. Thug getting the gate to carry here. It looked like it was going to be a disaster again with the... Uh, oh, uh, the damage side though, you cannot do that! You're not a frontliner! Look at this though, trying to get the damage off Banderas. Uses the, the W here. Harry. Yeah, they want to get more because there's no dragon up yet. Um, Gang. Ultimate here available from Sahira. They're engaged here from Tug, trying to get something off here. There's the Spyto into the backline. Spyto just goes down instantly. Aizu with a position against a three man ultimate here. Wonderful. Aizu again, you are the carry for Rich Gang. Look at Saito. Triple kill for the Vayne. Dream, because obviously we have a delay. Like, he hits the. Oh, uh, the hook Look at Slice oh. goes in there. Wonderful stand there from Sahira into the backline. Aizu tries to look for something, gets a catch on to Ray. That's not going to be enough though. That ultimate force. Oh, fun. Yeah. Look at into the pitch here. There goes the teleport. Double teleport also from Absolve. There, double kill over to Rhea. That's a big fight here for Absolve. Unstoppable into the back line. Looking to the sun. Up to Sahira. That's a flash over the wall. But there is looking to get something. Has the W. Maybe he can use it. Though the Tristana, the parry here, not going to go through. 
<laughs> to get something. That's the W. Maybe he can use it. Though the Tristana, the parry here, not going to go through. Could be Baron over to Rip Gang. Never and... mind. Look at the flash of Brandy. As the damage goes free, I'm just one shotting Ray. That is. Uh, that was a really questionable play from here. <laughs> Possible. Look at the damage here from the Fiora. That's going to be a nice two into the backline. Triple stun here. Going to look for the ulti also as well onto Thagir. That's Bandera in a nutshell. Gets the slowdown onto Zahira. Rich Gang. They are going to get the clean ace here. Double kill over to Saito as well. Just gonna be the game, I think. Um... <laughs> Rich Kang, honestly. Uh, I don't know. They keep jumping into the face of Fiora, though, when he has W. So, not sure about that one. But, uh, yeah, honestly, impressive stuff from Rich Kang. Especially after the way, like, the early fights went. Has the red side advantage here in this game, and... Mm. And again with the Visionary, I think... <laughs> yeah, they have so red side advantage, and they're also playing Ash. so late in the game. Look at this, though. Thug is going to get a hook here. Level yeah. 1. Uses the flash here, tries to get out, but Skewed again with the first ball here, going to pick that. Not when you have a Kalista in. Uh, into Ash as well, that's gonna be rough. Look at this level Might one here, piercing here, going in here, going to look for it. Hook on to side of the flash here, still has flash yeah. on Ray as well, forcing out. Even chances to ignite, just to stay a bit more healthy, it's... that's... Uh, yeah, he does get a crash, but they're looking for the dive, actually. Oh. Uh, I don't Thanks think Vukon has... Uh, has the ignite taking down, down. look at Vanera, so Quinsense goes for yeah, it. Yeah, but he has a W. Oh. Slice. Vukon took W, though, too. I okay. don't the know if they knew. They could re dive. They're gonna go for it. Goes and gets the aftershock onto the Thresher side to the first target here. Pearson under the turret, though. It's a bit deep here, but Scooter next they target here from Aizu. And Scooter does not have a flash. Oh, the damage here. I scooted those dodges away with the uh, engage here. Looking at the, the next target here. And here comes the teleport from top side. Then there it gets one kill here. Chase? Here I guess it's kind of hard. Uh, early cool on some uh, come here. Come oh, on. Look at Slice though with a flank. Going to go through here. Ooh, Ray, yeah. no flash. A wonderful catch up. But look at HP4. Bandera is going to get caught. Catch here. And that's a kill over to uh, Rage Gang. And Slice going to chase. Ah, the throw does not. Shut down, uh, not to shut down, but cancel as well. It's good. Getting a lot of spears in him. This is going to give me one kill at least here. Aside to trying to pick up a lot of kills, and that's the Kalista in a nutshell. Look at this damage. Who's going to win this? Oh, Kalista! Triple kill to Aside to and the shutdown. Oh, that's far in the game. The break, though, but what happened to the lantern? Yeah, he used it a bit early, I think. And uh, Ray though in the pitch here, Thug trying to get a play on, but this is dangerous. Don't go for this, Rage Gang. Absolve just gets three kills here. Four, to, yeah, two kills for Drake here. Absolve with this rotation towards the top side, going to look for the Herald here. Bandera is one with two here towards Ray. That's a lot of damage. Uses the ultimate here to get onto Ray, but that's a one with two from Bandera. Sound from the top side, no flash yet. And look at Pearson, that is disgusting. Bandera is again. You know how to play top laners. Yeah. It's here looking for the fight, but Saito going to gift over the shutdown here. Scooter chasing down as well as Thug oh. going to go down here. Three kill. Yeah, that's that's not good. Yeah, disastrous. They're giving all the shutdown back. Uh, not able to play the game right now. Oh, gets the catcher. Scooter going to look for the well. kill here. I mean, but they do see the slice now. Uh, the one in the bottom side here has teleport Banderas could use it to defend his uh, mid laner. Maybe that's not our old Ah, yeah. uh, it's too late. As Pearson kicks, uh, picks up the kill though in the bottom lane. Uh, it's gonna crash, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, it's got... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at bottom lane, Slice flashes away, uh, Ray flashes away, okay. Slice going to chase down. Still has flash on the ball there here, but you are yeah, a bit deep now. Have, it's, now it's probably too late. Like, you're just gonna get run down by Ash. So it's a bit longer. Ah, actually not at this point. But yeah, they do trade the ultimate. Ooh, nice try by Thug. For something, Baneris into the backside. The that is dangerous. Oh, that's a bit deep though, Baneris. Oh, the lantern out there. Yeah, really well played. Uh, they get the lantern out. So a bit deep, they get the flash from Sahira. And they also get the teleport from Quinston. So, yes, saves uh, Thug here from the Ash Arrow. Don't yeah. that, but still Ooh, goes but down here, goes into the enemy. But look at Aizu into the backside. Gets a three-man catch here with the... Uh, Nico, but that's no not enough sight on the back line. Tries yeah. to get away or uses the flash, but still Absol there continues to push and uh, 
This is not the same as we can get a good flank. The hook here from Zeg though getting the catch on the scooter. Wonderful again. That's the first kill going through. Sahira has to flash that engage. And look at the top laner. Thug into the back line here. Gets a hook on to Coincidence as well. Oh, Rich Gang nice. finding the fight here. Wonderful play here from Rich Gang. On Wukong without Wukong being able to use his uh, W. Yeah, look at Vandir is also going to get back here. Ray as well. Sahira no flash. I think this is uh, of Yeah, they oh. expect that. Oh, the hook here from the catch is a here and Thug the God on Thresh this game. Yeah, another one. Thresh actually, but also on Saito. Queenstance. Oh, yeah, such good position there. Look for the engager, but there's yeah. no top side. Slice, gets yeah, caught off here, that's... Does have his uh, stop but I don't think he gets oh, ult. Uh, this over the wall here, tries to survive. That's a normal ult, going to chase down. Thug trying to get to back up here, but that's a kill going on to yeah. Quinn. Yeah. Yeah. On Reyes, ultimate here, going down. Thug getting caught off. Scooter trying to fight off. The oh, dodge side, a wonderful dodge here from the Kalisa. Look at the back line. Here, Reyes going to get the catch on to Banderas. And also on to the mid laner here. Isaac goes down. Banderas yeah, is also yeah. going to go it's down here. Yeah, Reyes. Are they going to go for the Side to as well. That's a dead AD carry. Ooh, Not yet though, port. using the stock port, trying to yeah, get away there in the switch. Oh, that's looking so back great. Slice here, also getting two good. kills in the back line here. That's so huge, actually saving the game here for Rage Gang. Yeah, but they'll be able to defend. Ash has oh. no flash now as well. Oh. Maybe they can teleport in the front. Flash hook, they're going to get Sahira at least two. Gets a double center, that's one kill. Side to trying to fight off here. But as a one meter. But oh, Banderas, oh, oh. what are you doing? Yeah, they're Banderas. dealing with the Ash. Yeah, using... the Ash is oh. way too strong. Banderas still is trying to get the catch here. One auto yeah, attack. That is a double kill over to Banderas. A thousand gold shut down, but oh, 2000 HP going to look for the stealer. That goes over to Absol, but look at this fight. Oh, that is Aizu into the back line. Poor man. Oh. Ultimate here from Aizu. And Saito in the back line here still survives, though. Gets kill, caught up there by Quinson and gets a kill. That's the ultimate up. Reyes still is uh, in the pitch here. Yeah, Ash and Rice are still alive. Oh, dangerous. Gets the back off here. Back on Ray is the target and uses stopwatch. But look at this Wukong though. The nice all of it. Shut down off the Ray. That's no more AD carry. So here in the back line here, but Zerus has the damage though, maybe. But gets shut down here. That's the route off to the back line. Still, Saito is alive here, but I think that is going to be GG. As the Scooter gets a quadra kill here. As the Scooter gets a quadra kill here. On to the Xinjiao. Slice. Trying to get the catch here, just stalls the game, has a little bit of time here, but that's Scooter going to get the Penta kill over to Scooter as uh, Absolve there wins the series. To Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds jumping, I hear my name Grasping it to a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah.
words have just begun We will always take a stand For the people, for the land Let's go back to when we were young For the animals we stand Let's go back to when trees were swung Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. Summer. 
Studios GG and we're going to take a look at the match between Rich Gang and Niriki and Master Mixer. Welcome to the stream here today. Uh, so we're going to skip right into the champion select here of game number one. You can't kill me for long. Okay, here we go. And uh, it seems the teams have swapped sides, so we're just going to fix that shortly. And uh yeah, um, we can discuss the bouncer for a bit, uh, actually, because uh, I would like to discuss the the, the, the Nuriki approach here, because uh, they banned a class in Thrash that has been been very favored by Rishking lately, and uh, they have had a lot of success on this, meaning that the champions Rich Gang was not allowed to play in the regular season is open in this game, uh, like the Fiora, oh, uh, yes. the Niku, all these kind of champions are currently open. Um, as well for Nariki, we can see the a lot of junglers are open, um, so it depends. I I would assume they would opt towards a jungler here, perhaps. Yeah, uh, perhaps that. But as you said, the champions are <laughs> open. The Fiora. Okay, interesting. Filios first pick. Okay, that's really interesting. I mean, I'm not sure if that's a really big prio pick in my opinion, um, but uh, okay. Hmm. That's interesting. Anyways, yeah. Uh, with the if you're open, if you didn't see it yesterday, uh, there was Banderas just solo carrying a game on the uh, Fiora. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. He was like 10-0. Um, yeah. He also <clears throat> he he blind picked the Fiora as well, and uh, he did uh, excellent stuff with the Fiora. So it's it's really interesting to see that they actually let that go through. So yeah, indeed. Uh, and and again, especially here, on red side as well. Yeah, it is Niriki, the team here from. Uh, Finland, Finland, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. It's a big team, a really good organization, and we also know a lot of these names, like Tosca, Flipper, Wazen, Azidor, and Abigail. They're for the team of, uh, yeah, the blue side here. And on the other side, again, we have Rich Gang here, Banderas, Slice, Isu, Saitu, and Thug here going into game number one. And uh, with it, Tristana locked in there, it seems that Rich Gang is going to, yeah, look at a new approach to their bot lane as... The Kalista no longer on the table here. Yeah, I, I like the Tristana pick here um, as well for Aphelios. Aphelios is a champion that you also want to try and keep safe, as that he's not the the most mobile champion down in the bot lane. So, and as you can see as well, Thrush is banned, so uh, they won't be able to get that support, and uh, therefore Rishkin could probably look for something more aggressive down in the bot lane. Look for uh, look for two v two that could potentially dive or. Potentially just fight a lot. And uh, mm. here we see the Rakan as well. The Rakan locked in there. Uh, would you go for the Leona here in the bot lane then? Yeah, I was thinking the yeah. same. I was thinking maybe Nautilus, Leona. Um, something like that can get on top of the Filios relatively easy. Mm. Um, oh, but they the can Fiora just take the Fiora there, right yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, still that open their too. ass. Mm, yeah. Wonderful. Bandera is going to I pick that, that up in the top lane. And with that, hmm, Kale ban as well. You get also the two counter bans here uh, towards uh, Niriki as well. So I would say. Yeah, uh, and the wonderful thing here for, for Rich King as well is Niriki can't really ban supports. Because I feel like there is. I feel like there's so many things that Rich King can still pick as a support. So that won't really matter. Uh, and as you can see, Nuriki is now banning midlanders, uh, just targeting Aisu now yes. instead. Because oh. there's nothing you can do about the support uh, role, and uh, yeah, there's the Kali ban. As we expected. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, also the Nika ban there, Aisu on that champion has been wonderful. And uh, especially, if we saw the looks as well, that champion. He's so good at these champions that, are, that you have long range and you can pick people off at a long distance. He, he knows how to play them, and he has some some way of getting these catches. And look at that, the Leona locked in here into the bot lane, and Aphelios and Rakan, not an easy combination towards Leona Tristana. Yeah, and the wonderful thing about Leona as well here is that you force the Aphelios to probably take a cleanse in the lane as well. Because uh, if you get CC locked and Tristana jumps on you, there's not much you can do, and you won't have that heal, um, so... The 2v2 is going to be really hard to, to match on the bot lane. A GP, okay. That's, uh, oh. that's a good counter for the Fjord, oh, at least. Oh, interesting in the top lane there. And as well, let's look at the middle pick. It seems to be Seraphine locked in there for Niriki. And 
I mean, we, we did talk about it a little bit, but Nirik, it's it's such a famous team here. And with Abagnail in the bot lane, it is going to be a hard matchup no matter what here. Because, like, the team, it is a really good team. The players are good. They know how to lane. And especially this gangplank in the top lane is going to be a nightmare here for the Fiora. Um, yeah, and the GP, I, I really like that pick here, actually. Because it's, it's a good matchup for the Fiora, oh, for sure. Look at uh, Oh, oh, Soraka. Soraka, and we've seen Ice on yeah. Soraka before. He knows how to play the champion. He even spoke about it in an interview we had with him, right? So, that matchup yeah. in the mid lane. Okay, yeah, continue with your I, uh, Gangplank uh, talk. I mean, we, we can discuss the Soraka as well. I mean, first of all, there's so many bans for, for Ice Fairs. There's three target bans towards him. The Seraphine as well is, is, a, is a champion that Ice plays. Uh, that's also taken away, so... I think Soraka is one of the champions he has left, so it makes sense for him to pick it. As well, the Soraka is nice because you want that global ultimate to try and help your teammates. Yeah, especially exactly. if you dive yeah, to or match if the you... gangplank here, to match the yes, whatever. Yes, precisely. So I, I really like that. And the thing about the GP that I really love is that he does so well against Fiora. And if you have the ultimate, like that GP ultimate is going to be so important uh, for bot lane because. Whenever that bot lane tries to dive, uh, dive the Aphelios and Rakan, then if GP ult comes down, it locks you down, slows you down, d damage you as well, you might just give two two or three kills to, to Nurik instead. And that's why I love that uh, pick so much. Yeah, that is going to be really, really well uh, interesting to watch. Anyways, before we go into the game here, Master Mixer, our famous prediction of the game. Who do you predict is going to win game number one here between Rich Gang and... New Ricky. Well, um, I think it's gonna be a, uh, gonna be a really tough one. Um, both teams are really good draft, sir. Um, it just depends who plays the draft best, I guess. And uh, but there is is on his Fiora, and he played really well last time we saw that. And same thing with Saito and Tristano. So I'm I'm gonna give it to Rich King. I think they yeah. will get the first game here. Uh, the same goes here, uh, but my uh, reasoning here is actually the red side here for Rich Gang. Um, I'm not quite sure of these statistics, but I believe like the last uh, maybe, hmm, I don't know the amount of games here, but like red side always wins. I think wins. it's like 90%, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it, it is like, actually red side is so disgusting. In, uh, it's just, uh, yeah, yeah. opium now. So, and Rich Gang on red side. That is a tough matchup. Anyways, it is been Ricky as well here, so uh, no obvious win for either of the teams here. But again, we are going into game number one here, Master Mixer. And uh, let's take a look at the game here as we're getting into Summoner's Rift. Nuriki starting to go towards the river here. And it's going to be a wonderful series. We have, um, I mean, the first round here, we saw only one game from... Uh, the Icelandic team versus Rich Gang. The second round, it ended up the uh, being the Danish team taking the win there. That was yes, yeah, two days ago. And now Rich Gang taking the fight towards New Ricky, trying to get themselves into the playoffs here of Tel uh, Taylor Masters. That is going to yeah, be. And I I'm not sure if you noticed this, but what's actually going on in Taylor Masters this year? Because did you notice that Sans lost on forfeit last round as well? That didn't show up at all. Oh. Really? Yeah, they did not show up, so I'm but not sure how? what's going on there. I I have I mean, no clue. Yeah, because because to be fair, these are serious matches. You are quite hi high up here in the like system, and you should take these matches really seriously. Why why should there be a team here that doesn't want to meet up? I that makes no sense. Yeah. Um, I think that's really where they don't show up, and I think. The Icelandic uh, teams this season, or like this year, is not even looking bad. It's looking pretty good. So it's just weird that they don't show up. Yeah. The start here though from both Rage Gang Solo. No, a bit of aid here from uh, Bad Ears in the top lane. But yeah, look at the bot lane. Pryo going and, on to Rage uh, Gang. If we look at the junglers as well, we get that obvious pathing from both of them. We see that Slice was just path bot lane. Just. Uh, Look to do stuff there, and then uh, Flipper is gonna move up towards top lane. Yeah. And he wants to impact that lane as good uh, as much as possible. A look at that prior from the top lane here. Petoska really using that gangplank to its full potential here. That is. Hmm. Yeah. And I don't think we're gonna see too much in the beginning here until the jungler starts impacting the game. 
Um, yeah, definitely nothing is going to happen mid lane. Mid lane is uh, super sad at least. Yeah, um, yeah. Soraka so versus Seraphim, that is. Yeah. It's not often you see that matchup, but uh, it's uh, it's even more dead than just uh, scaling champions. <laughs> just two supports mid. Yeah. But the top lane though is going to be interesting. Look at Banderas trying to uh, fight off Petoska here, getting off a lot of poke here in the top lane with the Gangplank. I've, yeah, he has used two uh, stacks of his uh, Corruption Potion though, but uh, still. Yeah, and I think the top lane is going to be very dangerous because uh, Banderas is taking a lot of poke here and uh, Flipper, uh, by the time he comes top lane here, if Banderas is low and has not tp it back to the lane, they could actually look for that dive. Because Petoska is looking really healthy right now, while Banderas is not. Yeah, and we didn't mention this Raka ulti before the game here, but yeah, that needs to be... Uh... Yeah, you need to be level 6 to use... Uh, yeah, you need to be level 6 there to use that ultimate. Um, yeah, he's that. a little bit far away, sadly. Um, so... Um, it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, it seems that way. And uh, Ice as well is uh, running low on mana yeah. mid lane, so... Give me a second, Master. She's just gonna do take over. Sit here. Yeah, we just see Ice resetting here. He shoved in the wave, low on mana. Uh, this is a good reset from Ice here. Um, and I guess that Waze is just gonna do the same. Yep, the, the wave crashes mid lane. Okay. And uh, I guess we're not gonna see anything top lane, but there's is actually really healthy right oh. now. Yeah, trying oh, to get something in though. Yeah, as a good Pascal. trader. No, oh, the uh, parry goes wide there. Almost looked like a yeah. uh, potential kill there in the top side. It doesn't matter too much for Protosko, really, because he was going to reset anyway, and... But there's gets a Oh, but look here. at this bot lane, though. Oh, this okay. is a bit deep here from Rage Gang. There comes Flipper as well. Does have the flash here. Goes in on Tug. Oh, he hits that. That is a flash away from the Leona. Still no heal there. There's a flash from Abigail, and that seems to be first blow over to Flipper here. Jin Zhao taking over the kill there. Yeah, Flipper just finding that uh, jump there onto Thug, and... I mean, the Thug needs to respect that. The moment he sees that flash on Flipper, he needs to... Respond with his own flash, and he would have been safe. And I think uh, him trading flash with Flipper would have been fine, but uh, he doesn't do that, and uh, that's why Nuriki gets the first one. Yeah. Oh. But uh, the good news here is that uh, Flipper without the flash is uh, it's going to be a bit hard to, harder to dive top lane at least now uh, with this uh, gangplank. Because whenever a gangplank uh, pokes around arrows, you you want to be top lane and try to dive and try to utilize uh, that as much as possible. And without that flash, it's going to be a bit harder. So it's not the end of the world for no. King. That is not though, but again, the uh, opposing team are getting a, a turtle kill versus Rich Gang getting punished here. Hmm. Yeah. We we'll also see that uh, dragon. Oh, Flipper. Look at bot lane side. Oh, that's. Oh, a flash force out there. Wonderful play here from Niriki. Yeah, just uh, getting that flash from side is really good and. Uh... Do they get the information that uh, Flipper is resetting here? I guess they saw him reset. But look at this though, Rich Gang here with their uh, yeah creative play series. What? Uh, yeah, that is their play style. They look for these plays that no one is going to expect here, and Drake is going to go over here to Rich Gang. Yeah, I, I love this by Rich Gang. So, what happens here is that Nariki gets a flash down on Societo. They know he's super low. They know he's going to reset, and then they see f they have the vision that Flipper is in the bush. And then they know that he's probably going to be resetting in that version. And uh, you can see the, the control wars as well for uh, Rich Gang here. So they know that there's no vision on the Drake and they can just take it. And uh, Nariki is uh, not uh, going to think too much about it. And uh, Drake gets uh, taken by Rich Gang. Here. So it's uh, it's really good play by them. Yeah. And uh, with that also it seems that Nariki wanted to go for a full reset here. The entire team backing and resetting, getting items here. So... Synchronized resets. That's uh, a star in the book here for uh, Niriki. Yeah, with this reset at seven minutes uh, uh, as well, uh, we should be maybe looking for uh, oh a pause. Okay. With a pause there. Um, 
as we get into the pause here, Master Mixer, I don't know if you noticed, but we have a lot of people in the chat here today as well, um, including the coach, old coach here for Nordevin, the big playing as well, so yeah, good to see some uh, old names here appearing in the chat again. Yeah, it's always great to uh, have people watching. Oh, and uh, again here, Rage Gang with the lag. It seems that, I mean, it, it swaps around uh, during uh, the games. Like yesterday, I think it was the jungler that had a lot of ping. Uh, today, it's the top laner. So apparently, like, the reach in internet is, yeah, not, uh, not good at all. I can confirm, I have every place I have left, you should, I've actually moved the past months, I moved three times in a row because I needed better internet at the place I lived and I could never get it. Yeah. So, uh, oh. it's just bad internet all over. Yeah, I mean, it is the same here. I have, like, terrible internet, so I have to use uh, mobile internet to uh, do the production here for the uh, streams. Look at the top lane, though. That's oh, nice oh, tough. Gets uh, spotted out by a pink ward there in the top side. That means they have knowledge over Slice and uh, where he's going to path for the next seconds. Going to Orvix then now. Tosca, that's a bit deep here. This gun goes through here. Tosca going to get Dove here. And that's a kill over Jubanderas as well in the top side. That is... Yeah, and uh, look at the wave here as well. The wave is huge. This is uh, such a good play for Rich Gang. Yeah, and, and also the cannon wave as well then. Pit, Since Slice is here, you're going to get all these plates. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a, such a good play here. And uh, oh... Mid lane, Wizen getting some damage onto Aizu here in the trading. It's Rocker though. But yeah, uh, Patelska, they're just overextending. That's really greedy, actually. You, you, you just see the jungler and you know he's going to stay topside because of uh, his camps. And he, you know he wants to punish because of your bot lane. He's going to push up here. So, yeah, I've... That shouldn't have happened. In the, yeah, and Patelska stepped up as well. Uh, by, he, he, he wasted his orange a bit. And uh, the only thing you really need to use that orange on is that slice uh, stun, and uh, and he doesn't do that, so he, he gets a bit punished as well. Like you can see the greed from Tosca, he didn't use the flash either. Like he kept that yeah, but the I entire mean... time there. He could have just flashed early, and he would have been fine. But uh, yeah, he started to greed. Anyways, yeah. Uh, let's take a look at the replay here. The first kill from um, the early game here. Um... As Flipper flashes in onto Thug there, the flash goes in, Thug flashes late, and then Abigail. Oh, we'll look at the engage here onto bot lane, though. That's Abigail going to use his ultimate there. As Slice is here, too, looking for something. Not going to find anything, though. Yeah, just uh, a lot of pressure from Burmish King here in the bot side. This is good to see. Thug just got level 6. Oh. Meaning he might be able to look for... Uh, for play soon. Look at oh, top lane on Bagheras. He has the wave. He knows how to play this, and uh, we've seen Bagheras snowball these matchups before. His Fiora is really scary. He's like Marin in Season 5, so you need to yeah, be careful there on the top side. Yeah, and... Um... He gets onto bot lane though, that's an ultimate going down, Abigail, the ult to go down from Slice 2, going to look for the kill under the turret. Oh, the flash there, Abigail getting out here into the bot side. Terrible for H-Gang, and with that as well, Aizu in the mid lane, there's a flash forced out, and uh, the re-kill with the mechanics across the board. Yeah, Slice just not hitting that stun there, and uh, he's just not been able to find the damage. Uh, since he missed a bit, and uh, look mid lane now, just uh, oh. yeah. forcing us to super far back, he doesn't have the mana anymore. Flipper has to rift her if he wants to to do so, but he doesn't. He's gonna reset here. If uh, Nariki wants to, they should just run mid lane here once again. Yeah, you see Waven is uh, resetting as well, and uh, yeah. if you run mid now, oh. you can rift it at the same time. With the, uh, with the pressure with the rift, you can start Drake, and... Uh, <clears throat> it should give them a tempo point if they want to fight for this. Look at top lane. Vanera is backing off. Still getting the damage off here, but yeah. The good thing as well for uh, for Nariki here is you know that both Thug, Ice, and Slice was not a flash for this play. And, um. Uh... Mm. 
That is a bit scary. Petoska yeah, should be able to just. Petoska has GP ult as well, and. Uh... Even though Banderas has TP, there is no way he can TP in this position. Yeah. <clears throat> And that's a great start of the pit by Enrique as well. They know they have yeah, pressure. I think, yeah. yeah, I think there's nothing risky you can do here. They just have to give that uh, Drake and... Uh, I think it's a smart play by Rishkin. Just surrender that and uh, just scale a, bit, a little bit up. Yeah. And uh, it's it's not that bad because uh, with the intelligent play that uh, Rishkin did earlier this game, they they actually have a Drake themselves, so... It's uh, it's not looking bad uh, whatsoever. They're in a, in a really good position still. Yeah, but uh, look at this though. Icer here heading towards the top lane, and Petoska going to be the target. There still I has have, a flash uh... and the orange here. Yeah. Oh, it's helpful yeah, there. Yeah, there's TP from Banderas as well. Shows himself now. That's a dive here onto the gangplank. Petoska just going to get dove here. Bandera is going to pick up the kill there in the top side, and that's the ultimate going through slice. Ooh. Barely surviving, but look at mid lane here. That's a punishment from Nuriki as well. Flipper and Nasator in the mid lane here with the Herald getting two procs off at least here. Maybe three. And a dive maybe towards the bottom side here. No. Seems like. Yeah. I mean, I still think I... Uh, I don't mind this play from Rich Game because... That play in the mid lane was kind of inevitable anyway. So the tower's so low. And since Wayson always has the pressure, he's always being able to hit that tower. And, and uh, oh, the bot lane oh, now. Ulti there. Ah, uh, I guess send by Wayson. a thug there. There's nothing they can do then. Knowing. Do they know? That is a bit deep from Saito getting oh. spotted. Oh, yeah. Okay, he doesn't want to go for that. But yeah, uh, back to what I was originally saying. The thing about mid lane, I think, was inevitable. It's going to happen eventually. And Rich King just decides to swap the towers and say, you can have two towers mid. Well, we will get one tower top line because we want to just funnel Banderas and let him carry us like the last time. And in a matchup where GP should be winning, Banderas is up 2-0. So it seems like they're just going to play towards him and uh, hope that that will do the do the trick this game. Yeah. And um, I mean, there's rather worked game two, uh, two days ago versus uh, Absolve as well. So Banderas on the uh, floor here, going to look to carry the game here. But there is one thing... Oh, look what I know. Oh, this is a bit scary here. Engage here, Banderas is showing bottom side here. As there Abigail. Banderas looking for the yeah, skull launch in the Rakan here. Yeah, no ultimate available here for the Leona. Flash either, that's the engage onto the bottom uh, here. Abigail getting away with the Rakan as well. Banderas under the turret here, that's a bit deep. And a turn, Saito going to be the target here. Flipper into the back line. Look at Saito, here's Petoska as well with a teleport. And that's a big team fight. One kill goes over, Rich Cat picks up another one here in a fight here and slides off the bo bottom side here. But Vandera is still alive, trying to fight up with a Fiora. Gets one more kill here. That's a double kill over to the Fiora here. Look under the turret as Azidur picks up another kill. That's the Ricky with a full ace here at 15 minutes into the game. Yeah, I think uh, Risking is greeting a little bit, uh, no, or not a little bit, way too much there. So that looks for the play in bot lane there. Thug did not have ultimate yet, therefore he can't just force that play super hard. Uh, but he flash is hits it on uh, Rakan, and you can easily see that both the Filios and Rakan was out of that play there, and still they chase after them and uh, they get punished for it. It's it's something you can't really do here uh, in this game, but. I do like what Rich King did there in the beginning. They look for the play, but the moment that they get out, they just need to back off. Yeah. Um, but uh, just a bit of overextending there. Yeah, and as well here, uh, you have the Fed Fiora and you give away the shutdown as well. Just uh, yeah. yeah, that is... Well, there is one and thing no... here, a problem for yeah. Rich Gang. That is, uh, I, I'm going to point it out because Vic from the Leona here, uh, when he plays a Thrush, he has a lot of presence. He knows what to do. But it seems like uh, that on the Leona, he doesn't really know what he's going to do in the fight. He doesn't know his limits here, it seems like. A bit overextending, he's not using his flash in time, not using his uh, ultimate or fighting when it's up. It, there are some mistakes here and that. Yeah, and I think as well, I think that's a whole Rich Gang issue as well. Because Rich Gang has tendencies to overextend a lot in the early game um, as well. 
and uh, oh. let's just get punished for it. And uh, there's gonna be a Drake spawn here soon. I'm not sure if Rich can, can contest this. I don't think they can. Um, Kill I should him. just can see this. Oh, this is dangerous. Nariki going to look for the player. The ulti over the wall here. Abagnay going to follow up by Ares. Tug is going to be the target for the fighter and gets knocked up. And that's a root down onto the support here. As Nariki picks up another kill here. That is dominance from the Finnish team. But look at the mid lane here. Rich Gang trying to push down. I and Nariki just get this tower. Is it all the time ever? Yeah, gets the turret there. And Drake being soloed here by Flipper. I have to say though, the, a lot of these junglers just, uh, yeah, both from Absolved and also here from Niriki Flipper. Oh, look at Slicer into the bottom late. As is sure going to look for the kill here. Oh, one more auto. He gets the heal from Ice there. The ultimate from Ice saves Slice at least, but uh, they had to use that uh, global ultimate. Uh, but look at uh, this play here. They're actually trading with the Rift Herald instead of the being bot lane. Uh, I'm not sure if I like this too much. Mm. You, you just give boulder. another tier 2 yeah. turret away, yeah. Mm. The thing yeah. about Rift is that it usually, take, it usually gets the tower. But I just gave a tower away. Uh, mm. I guess it's not the end of the world. Uh, the worst trading, but uh, the game is looking worse and worse for uh, Risk King. They're now 5k gold behind them. They're just not finding those plays that they need to find them. Yeah, exactly. And uh, that They're goes getting for... really punished at this point. Bandiers as well here, not getting the kills going here on the Fiora. And it's going to be hard here because it, it is Gangplank and you don't have vision, you don't have control over the map here, so split pushing is going to be hard. And yeah, and you uh, can't really pressure the GP either, because you can't dive him. And you can't pressure the tower either, because GP clears those waves so fast. Um, and you can't play the opposite side either, because of the GP ultimate. Um, so it's it's really difficult. Uh, Risk King has to just try to pressure around Fiora, because they need something... Uh, they need another element to help out the Fiora being able to kill this GP or to pressure this sideline. So that's kind of what Rich King needs to do. And when it comes to team fights, when they get to that point, they just need to help on theirs kill the enemy. Or yeah. they like they need to find a good engage upon one of their carries. The only thing is, they can't do that as long as Nariki has their summoner tools. Oh. So they need to uh, pay attention to that really well. Flipper oh, here has monsters. no flash. Slow. Going to get up in one second though, so... Hmm. Look at the bot lane here. That is some of the problem also with getting these early turrets in uh, bot lane and top lane. Is that it's hard to push out the lane like completely. Look at this though, Niriki. Fine. Four members here. Going to be uh... That's the engage here, also from Abagnave, going to look for a slice over the wall here, but he gets out, and that's the Gangplank ult used as well as the flash from Rakan there. Yeah, and as well, look at the Aizu though, he, he hit that Q, meaning that he doesn't uh, use that much HP when he heals, so Slice gets full HP right away, but now Ricky starts Baron here. And that seems a bit scary here, especially with Bandera's on the Fjord here, could teleport in here 20 minutes, yeah. so... He's sitting and waiting in base here, he, he's looking for this... Yeah, oh, this is behind is coming? Doesn't seem like Nuriki knows it's coming here. Slice um, to the Baron here. 3000 HP. There's the engage. And Berdera's into the backline here. Wait, some first target. That's Saito as well into the backline. Look at Nuriki though getting shattered here by Banderas and his teammates. Rich Gang getting the fight off here. That's a beautiful team fight. Rich Gang, you've done it again here. Trying to get a lot of the kills here. Is that a full ace also? Getting down here. Patoska, the last member of Nuriki. Saito. There's one more auto, and that's a clean ace. But what is Niriki doing? I don't understand this Baron play. So, they start off the Baron very early on here, and then Rich Gang insta control wards it. They're all in the same area here. But, like, but there is even has TP flank wards, and they stick to the Baron call. They need to back off there. The moment that the Rich Gang oh. wards, and the Baron is not too low, it was still like 12k HP, they just need to back off and they get super punished by that decision. Yeah, and that's the Baron before to reach gang as well. But but I mean, you, you don't have the Rakan open, no flash on Abagnale, no ulti. 
And as well, you use the Gangplank ulti, and you still go for the Baron here. That is... And especially when you know Banderas is... Ha he has Teleport. He also has a Herald here, so he can punish if you lose the fight. Um, yeah, and I also want to point out... So, their 5k gold ahead, right? But that gold lead does not really matter when you get so low HP from the Baron. And the thing about Baron as well is... Very early on, it matters a lot because you get this Baron debuff on you. And that debuff... You saw how fast they got shredded when when uh, Rich Gang jumped on them, and that ba that debuff is so crucial, and yeah. uh, that's why you can't do those early barons, especially not when Rich Gang has five members alive. That's oh, all around the using the open on the Leona. There, there's engage play for the first target as Tug gets knocked into the backline here. Whoa, the damage here comes through from the Riki. That's a lot of damage. Double kill over to Wayson as well as uh, Rich Gang just get destroyed in that fight. Yeah. They, uh, they actually engage a flipper though. That's it's uh, a bit weird from uh, from Thug there. He so what Rich needs to do with these fights is they just need to jump the backline really. Just try to to jump that uh, that the Philios, uh, that Seraphine. Don't let them uh, be able to control these fights. And if you jump on their front line, uh, their their uh, their Sinso, um, or their like even the GP. If you jump the GP, it's it's really difficult. And uh, you see how, how punished they, how quickly they get punished when they do these mistakes from the Ricky and... Uh... Yeah, that is... Uh... And uh, they're, therefore they lose the Drake, and uh, now Nuruki is on soul point. So... Um... That is a bit dangerous, and yeah. But this time, Abigail, he has to ultimate, right, for Nuruki, so... Yeah. The fight there is pretty easy when it gets the ulti off onto the three members here in the backside and as well the, with the Gangplank ulti and Wazen as well, they have this wombo combo that is just disgusting. And uh, Nuri Kid seems to know how to use it as well as uh, when they go into Flipper. Which I mean, should not be the target here in the fight from uh, Rage Gang. If you miss the ultimate there on Leona, you shouldn't go in there. That's such a risky fight, especially when you know all of the cooldowns are up here for uh, Niriki, but again, Niriki punishes, and they get a lot for it. Yeah, so the thing is... Oh, mid lane. She She's be fine, he has ulti. Yeah, he gets away yeah. there. So the thing here uh, with the fight about Rich Gang is... The thing about going for Flipper is... It's not the end of the world if you hit that ultimate. Because if you hit the ulti, you can CC lock Sin Sao. And that's, therefore, he can't ultimate. But the moment Flipper hit that ult, he's alive. Oh, look at Madeiras, and... though. Yep. That's Madeiras. the engage. And then follow-up engage from here with the Abigail. And that's if you're a parry going down here. Still surviving, though Madeiras still alive here. He's standing so much time here against Snipe, but that's not enough. Saito picks up the first kill in the fight here. Look at Enrique in the pitch here. Oh, no one ultimate, though. So this is going to be a good fight here for Banderas and Rich Gang. Look at the engage here. Just a double kill over to that gangplank. Good kill of everybody. Triple kill over to that gangplank. But look at Banderas. He is the carry. Misses the uh, Q there over the wall. The Tosca. Ooh, going to be... Bit of uh, mind games here of where Petoska's gonna go. Oh. Madeiras, he gets the uh, oh, slow gets there, the and that's a dead Petoska, it seems like. Rich Gang, Banderas with a flag there as well, going to secure the kill and a fight here for Rich Gang. Oh, look at Banderas now as well. He is the one that picks up these kills as well. He's 8-1. And he even got caught that fight. He needs to survive for so long. And Ayusa gets into the fight, heals up Banderas, and by then Banderas cleans everything up. He is so big right now. And uh, for Nuriki, this is dangerous. You need to shut uh, this man down, because uh, right now, he's doing wonders. Yeah, he gets also the camp here, steal from Flipper. That's a teleport going to look for the shutdown here. And that's a thousand gold shutdown. But Banderas, no mana this time on the Fiora. Look at Flipper going to get a slow off. And that's going to be a dead Banderas getting locked down. And the shutdown goes over to Abagnale, though. Nuriki going to... Uh, yeah, missed that opportunity with a lot of gold as well. I was just about to say, this is really, really bad for, for Rick King, and But there is, should not be bot lane there. Especially not without any mana. And uh, he needs to reset, he gets caught. And he gives back a 1k. However, it's Epic Nail that gets the kill. And it's a little bit whatever then. Yeah, It's not that bad, yeah. He also uses but, uh, the ultimate there, so... Uh... Yeah, a, a big timer on uh, cooldown. 
But just look at this. It, it is so much back and forth between these teams now. Niriki getting some fights, and the same goes for Rich Gang getting some fights here. But from what I can see, it's all about the cooldowns here. When uh, Flipper, Petulska, and Waze and Navigny ha have their ultimates, they win the fight here. And if they don't, they don't win. So if you can spend the Rakan ultimate here, if you can like trick it out somehow from Rich Gang, you probably win the game here, I think. And that's what I also was saying about uh, for Rich Gang's side is that you want to lock yourself on, onto this uh, Aphilios target, for example. But it's so hard because he would just cleanse the Leona ultimate. However, if he doesn't have these tools, you can easily win this fight in your favor. You just need to make sure that he doesn't have these tools. So Rich Gang needs to be, um, be very active before these objectives spawn. And uh, the soul is about to spawn, and they're being pushed out of the area right now. Yeah, that is really they might dangerous. Turn to Baron here, actually. We've Saito. seen Rich King do this very often. Oh, Bandera's getting slowed here. That's a lot of damage. Aizu as well getting picked off here by the uh, Petulska gangplank. That's a scary gangplank as well. Look at the Drake, though, going over. And the Ricky going to take that, and that means Rich Gang does have to back off here. Yeah, uh, now uh, Niriki has his soul. We're gonna look for that fight, or at least we're gonna look to set up Baron. Mm, but then again, like the Baron fight, that's where they gave away the gold last time as well, so... Yeah, but uh, the very good thing for now is uh, you have that Ocean Soul, which will allow Whoa. you to be uh, very healthy at the Baron. Ooh. Yeah. Look at Banderas, he's actually behind them, farming their rat, uh, raids. Still trying to get some gold off. He has a lot of gold in his pockets, almost 15k here at 30 minutes, so... He's a scary dude now, but look at Abigail going to look for yeah. the flank here. Scary They, do, they melt this Baron. This Baron is being melted right now. Risking needs to be... Uh... To reactor. Yeah, that's Ward. Okay. 4,000 HP. Slice has the ultimate here. Kid, go over if he wants to. I think this is a flip. They're oh, that's so tricky. dangerous. So in the backside here. Look at the Rakan. Petulska getting the kills here. And that's a disgusting Wobo combo. Niriki gets the fight here. Two kills over. Epic nail though. With this Rakan. Yeah. But there is no ultimate now. And Bandera is coming towards the Baron here. Slice and you both. can see how healthy Niriki is. They're all full HP as well. And I guess Slice might look for this oh. deal here. Going to look for it at least. Bandera is not going to contest it even. So slice on your own here. That um, seems to be Baron giving away here as yeah. Niriki picks up the Baron buff here in. And Bandera is trying to get the punch up. One turret back, maybe. It's a slow off here. At least they get that mid tower. Um, they get to shove as well in all three lanes. Meaning that uh, you can at least prolong this. Uh, Baron usage a little bit. However, if we go through the the Rich Gang fight once again, uh, or the Baron fight once again, they, you can see that the Ricky is slowing down the Baron because they know that we can't really go for this. It's a super big flip. Yeah. Uh, Slice could just flash smite the the Baron. They had full vision of it, and with the new Baron update, uh, no, uh, the jungler update, both the junglers have 900 damage under smite. Uh, so it doesn't matter with what level you are as a jungler. So it's, it's a flip no matter how you look at it. And uh, therefore, they're looking for the fighter. And R Rich Gang, they were just off position there. Both Saito and Thug gets caught by the... Oh, by the look at this though! As Thugger gets into the backline looking for as a chore. But that's the Rakan. Saito going in way too deep. He gets engaged on by Flipper. He gets the ult back there. But that is Madeira is not going down here. As Madeira is not even showing up. Getting kills here. Niriki gets a clean AC. Triple kill over to that as a chore. As that is maybe the gamer even for I think this is game. They can just shove this down. They have the wave already. Look at this. That is uh Yeah, the next wave is yeah, coming that here. That is the GG as Niriki just pushes down this Nexus here, going to look for the game here. Game one of the series here between Rich Gang and Niriki is going to go over to Niriki here. Well played and GG well played as they uh, yeah get the game here.
Banderas. Yeah. No, uh, Master Mixer. Yeah, hello. Yes, hello. Um, so, uh, good game. Uh, Nariki gets the... They, they win these fights uh, very cleanly. Um, Rich Gang overextends once, yet once again uh, in this fight. And uh, Nariki can just clean that up and... Uh, and better get a clean ace. Uh, so that's uh, wonderful to see. Yeah, it is really wonderful. And uh, with that, we're going to look for an MVP here for game number one, Master Mixer. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think... Uh, mm. I think Wayson played really well. Uh, Wayson? The Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I really think he played really well. He found a lot of good surfing ults. I do believe that Rich Gang overextended here and there and they did a few mistakes, but he capitalized on those mistakes so well. You can see all the ults that Wayson had were so impacting and the team fights where his ults did not go well, they... The team fight didn't look that great. But now, the, every time he hit that ultimate, he gets a good ultimate, and they just straight up win the fight. Um, but if we want to discuss that game a little bit, the mistakes that I just want to point out for Rich game was for Baron, uh, you know that Renariki was going to look for that fight there when they were backing away from the Baron. As well, you didn't have any vision like to blow you, so no. both Saito and Thug should not have been where they were. They need to just back off. And if Nariki doesn't back off the Baron, you don't, you, you're not in the position to really fight that. That's why Rich can't go off on the right side. Um, but Darius did not TP, he was a little bit uh, late on that. Yeah. Therefore, they're not really gonna look for the fight. I would just go for the, go for the flip. Whichever jungler gets the Baron, so be it, right? But that's not a... I, I mean, I wouldn't... If I were Nariki there, I would not take that flip. Because you just got the soul as well. There's yeah. no reason to take the flip. And if I were risking, I would have taken the flip. And for the mid lane fight, I would say that Thug gets the opportunity onto Fidel's there, which is wonderful to see. That's good. Good job. You get the cleanse. You get the flash. Back off now. Yeah. Just, just exactly. simply back off. They don't back off. The TP comes in for Seraphine, and you lose. Them. But with that, Master Mixer, we are going to take a at least a five-minute break here until game number two between Nariki and Rich Gang. As you can see, Nariki leading the series here 1-0 up against Rich Gang. So enjoy the highlights, and we'll be back in about five minutes. See ya. Flavor as well, does have the flash there, goes in on Tug. Oh, it's not. That is a flash away from the Leona, still no heal there. There's a flash from Abigail, and that seems to be first blow over to Flipper here. Jin Zhao taking over the kill there. Uh, opposing team here, getting it, the turtle kill versus Rich Gang, getting a punish there. Yeah. Wants to see that uh, dragon. Oh, Flipper. Look at bot lane side, too. That's... Ooh, a flash force out there. Wonderful play here from Niriki. That means they have knowledge over Slice and uh, where he's going to pass for the next seconds. Going to overextend now. Tosca, that's a bit deep here. This gun goes through here. Tosca going to get dove here. And that's a kill over to Banderas as well in the top side. That yeah, and... Uh... He gets onto Bobbling though, that's an ultimate going down. Abigail, the ult to go down from Slice 2, going to look for the kill under the turret. Oh, the flash there, Abigail getting out here into the bot side. Terrible for H Gang. They still have the flash and the orange here, yeah. Oh, it's helpful yeah, there. There's a TP from Banderas as well. Shows himself now. That's a dive here onto the gangplank. Potoska just going to get dove here. Bandera is going to pick up the kill there in the top side, and that's the ultimate going through Slice. It's a big team fight. One kill goes over. Rich Cat takes up another one here in a fight here. And slides off the bo bottom side here. But Vandera is still alive. Trying to fight him with a Fiora. It's one more kill here. That's a double kill over to the Fiora here. Look under the turret as Azidur picks up another kill. That's the Ricky with a full ace here at 15 minutes into the game. Rich can kind of contest this. I don't think they can. Um... I should just can see this. Oh, this is dangerous. Nariki going to look for the player. The ult over the wall here. Abigail going to follow up there as Tug 
is going to be the target for the fighter and gets knocked up and that's a root down onto the support here as Niriki picks up another kill here that is dominance of the lane like completely look at this though Niriki fine four members here going to be uh that's the engage here also from Abignave going to look for a slice or the wall here but he gets out and that's a gangplank ult to use as well as the flash from Rakan there yep as well. Still getting shattered here by Banderas and his teammates. Rich Gang getting the fight off here. That's a beautiful team fight. Rich Gang, you done it again here. Trying to get a lot of the kills here. Is that a full ace? Also getting down here. Patoska, the last member of the Ricky. Saito, there's one more auto and that. Um, that's why you can't do those early barons, especially not when Rich Gang has five members alive. That's oh, all around the using the open on Liliona. There, there's the engage. Flipper, the first target. That turn gets knocked into the backline here. Whoa, the damage here comes through from the Riki. That's a lot of damage. Double kill over to Wason as well as uh, Rage Gang just get destroyed in that fight. He gets sniped, but that's not enough. Saito picks up the first kill in the fight here. Look at the Riki in the pit here. Oh, no one open, though. So this is going to be a good fight here for Banderas and Rich Gang. Look at the engage here. Just a double kill over to that gangplank. Would kill him everybody. Triple kill over to that gangplank. But look at Bandit. Ooh, going to be Bit of uh, mind games here. Where Patoska's gonna go. Oh, Maneras, he gets the uh, Ooh, slow gets there. The and that's a dead Patoska, it seems like. Rich Gang Banderas with a flag there as well. Going to secure the kill and a fight here for Rich Gang. If he wants to. I think this is a fourth. They're oh, that's so great. dangerous though so in the backside here. Look at the Rakan Petoska getting the kills here. And that's a disgusting Wombo Combo. Niriki gets the fight here. Two kills over. As a chore, but that's the Rakan Saito going in way too deep here. Gets engaged on by Flipper. Gets the ultimate back there. But that is Vanderas not going down here as Vanderas not even showing up. Getting the kills here. Niriki gets a clean AC. Triple kill over to that as a chore. As that is. Maybe the gamer even for it.
anyone to get off their darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too When you want to get Hello and welcome here to the second game between Niriki and Rich Gang and Master Mixer. Welcome back here. To the Thank stream. you. Yeah. It seems both teams are ready and Rich Gang have chosen red side as they were the losing team of game number one here. 
So, it seems that we are quite ready to go into the game of game number two here. And what changes do we want to see here for game number two, Master Mixer? Well, at least for Nuriki, we're going to see the same bounce. So, the Thresh ban, I think, is so good. Uh, because the champion that Thug has been playing so well on has been the Thresh. And uh, I think the moment you put him on something like a Leona, the game just looks so much better and forced Rich Gang to go in. But for um, for Rich Gang, um, I'm not sure what kind of bands that needs to go through. I think the same bands are probably gonna gonna come through. But uh, I do believe we need to see uh, an adjustment in the um, in the picks that they went for last game. Yeah, definitely. Maybe maybe pick for Ice a bit earlier uh, if you wanna secure him here, one of his champions. Yeah, because uh, something like the uh, uh, something different than this rocker here, where he ha where he has a lot of more impact in the game here. And Calista gets banned out again here. It seems like Nariki knows that uh, Saito and Thug are relying on the Thresh and Callista combo there in the bot lane to do some work in the bot lane. So get that going to get banned out, and that means Thug is going to get something uh, different than Thresh this game as well here. Yeah. I hope we I hope we can see an Nautilus, honestly. Uh, it would be amazing to see. Um, yeah, because you did talk about that during our pause here, Master Mixer. Yeah. Um, so you 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 thought that the Nautilus would be a good pick here instead of the Leona as well, right? Explain. I, yeah, definitely. Uh, so basically, I play a lot of Nautilus. And the thing I, I love is that the Nautilus is... I would think it would work so well with the way that Rich King plays the game. It's a champion that is good at diving. It's a champion that is, is also kind of good at, at roaming. Uh, very strong at these skirmishish, skirmishes and all of these fights that Rich King want to take. Therefore, I think it's an amazing champion. And it's super good at locking these players down. Um, and it just gives you a good 2v2, good dives, good roams, uh, good skirmishes. I think it's a, it's a really good champion for... Uh, yeah. For risking overall, I actually agree um, here. I'm not sure if Thug plays it, but if he does, I would love to see it. So we we did talk about a bit, a bit about the play style here of uh, Thug because he, he he used to be a jungle main, remember? So he yep. the Thresh is a comfort pick here for Thug in a bot lane. So meaning that if you take that away, he has to play something different. But there goes the Rikan as well, and. Yeah, actually, I think that's a step in the right direction here for Rich Gang, because uh, that's an easier champion to play. You you, ju you just press R, you go in here with a W, and look at Vandera. Uh, yeah, the Volibear here as well, locked in for Rich Gang. That is going to be a comfortable pick here, indeed. Well, yeah, and uh, we've seen a lot of uh, great stuff from Rich Gang with uh, with this Volibear. And uh, I guess you're just going a bit into comfort now uh, instead here. And uh, hope that that will do the work. Yeah. And uh, look at this answer here, though. Waze and locking in the Seraphine once again here. And the Leona Insta into Rokan here from Abagnale. A good support for Niriki. So, Miko still up, though. And uh, this time, not going to lock in the Fiora. It seems that the Gangplank might... Uh, yeah. Was a bit hard for uh, Bandera's to carry against... Not to lane against, it seemed like. Because he did well um... in lane. Yeah, and I also think, as I said as well, if you want to change up some of the picks, which is definitely what Risking has done here, they also choose to pick for Ice a bit earlier, which I love, because uh, again, you can see the Seraphine pickup from Nariki and the Lulu ban, meaning they would probably just ban oh, out no. Ice again. And uh, we've seen a lot from Banderos across all of the games that he has been playing that he has been able to perform usually on. Yeah. Like the, well, the majority of the champion he's been getting has been able to perform down in uh, up in the top line, so he doesn't necessarily need the Fiora, and therefore I think it's just better to give Aisu his significant uh, comfort champion like the Nico, and the Nico has done wonders for risking in the past, so uh, it's uh, good to see. And uh, yeah, there's mm. the Kelvin again. Let me get in there. And uh, Tristana banned out there as the last band. So no Fiora, no Tristana this time for Rich Gang. Hmm. I must say I'm a bit worried here over how the draft is looking so far. The Sire though is still open here for Saiti to lock in. Would be a good pick here. 
I'd like to Sire. I think this is a good pick, actually. Um, you have the Rakan, and I think Sire is really good here because it, it does so well into Leona and it does so well into Sinsa as well. And uh, mm. you get a really strong 2v2. Yeah, so I, I, I actually the, love this. <laughs> yeah, the Sire locked yeah, in there. Yeah, here actually. comes Ezreal. Ezreal, that is fine for uh, New Ricky. We need to pick that up. And the last pick here. What do you think it's going to be here? You see the top, uh, everybody except the top laner here. So Batosca going to lock in, and then Banderas is going to get the counter pick here in the top lane. That's a good question. Uh, again with the game. just be the GP yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, okay. He actually picks it, yeah. So the thing about GP is that it's actually it's actually a really good bomb pick. So it seems that Nariki has no issues just picking this champion. Um, as it works really well. And uh, oh, but, yeah. it gives uh, Rich Gang the opportunity to pick into it. Vladimir still open here as Banderas locks that in. And with that, we have our teams set, our rosters, and our... Yeah, the draft is done here, Master Mixer. Um, hmm, yeah. Let's just, yeah. just, just skip right into it here. A prediction of the game. Who, who do you think is going to win based off the draft here? Based off draft? Um... That's a, that's a tough one. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh god, this is a really tough one. I, I think Noreki actually has the better draft this game. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. Even though they're blue side. It does seem that way, and also the way they played last game, because they, they played so well, actually, uh, previ the previous game. They, they made a lot of mistakes, and Rage Gang knows how to punish these mistakes, but in general, they just they did a lot of good things. They played around their jungler, got early kills, and then the Baron buff, you know, you see how they set up the Baron, and also the Drakes, how they have control over the map here. Uh, and Rage Gang traded also, like, turrets for Herald. A lot of weird stuff from Rage Gang, but still, uh, Niriki showed themselves really well pre the previous game here and now as we're getting into game number two i actually think that niriki has the advantage to for the game here even though we are uh, semi-biased as we are norwegians um and we would like for the norwegian teams to move on into the playoffs here but still yeah bit of objectivity is required i think we're allowed to be a bit biased though Oh, insta pause. So we're going to be sitting in this champions like for a while, it seems. Did you give us an, a heads up and what is going on here? Is um, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the support just having issues here from uh, Nariki. Oh, so apparently not only in reach internet is uh, rip, but also against. Finish. I guess Scandinavia or the all is doomed when it comes to internet. Hmm. Imagine if we had internet like Korea, like seven milliseconds ping on a regular server. That would be uh, that would be nice to play on. It would be amazing if we had that internet. Yeah, actually. <clears throat> Look at this. So thirty-six minutes. Uh, yeah. So we are just going to be waiting here for a while. Um. I didn't know Master Mixer. How, how has your day been today? Like, good? Uh, yeah, I woke up at 6 a.m. today, actually. Um, Whoa. So, I'm actually, yeah, it's. Uh, I usually never wake up that early. So, finally, in a very long time, I managed to sleep a lot, even though I woke up at 6 a.m. I think yeah. I went to sleep like. like 8 a.m. yesterday. No, uh, p.m., I mean. <laughs> that is actually a bit well played, Master Mixer. Yeah, uh, Thank you. Yeah, to, to be honest, I didn't like go to sleep until like 9 o'clock today, a.m. Um, so, yeah, we I, I guess we are on the opposite sides of the spectrum this uh, time. But yeah, look at that. We are going to get into game number two here between Niriki and Rich Gang. As uh, Niriki leading the series here 1-0 up against Rich Gang here for game number two. But that seems to be... It, as we are getting into the game here. Flipper going to be a bit late into his position here. Welcome to Summoner's mm. Rift. Yeah. Just, uh, just a cover yeah. from uh, all the teams here. Look at that. Not much gonna 
Yeah, look at this. What is it doing? It's uh, coming now. Yeah, nothing special going to happen here. Nerika seems to be a bit on the more safe side when it comes to early game. Going to take down the ward here from Slice. That is all. As Petoska gets 10 gold in the early game here. Yeah, great start from Nerika. Getting the 10, co uh, the, the 10 gold lead. Abagnale, though. Hmm. Well. With that. Yeah, I guess we're just going to be waiting. It seems to be a bit of a slow start here. Neither of the teams wanting to go for something risky. And as well, when Tug isn't even there, I guess. Yeah, you don't even want to go for it. Yeah, um, I swear to look at Botland here. They are covering for Slice here. Um, uh, don't want to show where they start. And as you can also see from Nariki, there's no vision uh, early on here. So they actually don't have the information of where Slice starts. That's gonna give him uh, some options at least. Hmm. Yeah, going to be interesting to see the pathing here for Slice this game. As he has full control and full knowledge. Hmm. And a top lane yeah. as well. Oh, bot lane. As there, there's the stun here from Abagnale going to front line now. Thug as Saito and Thug trading back and forth, but that is a lot of damage there. Yeah, winning out on that trade heavily. In the bot lane. Yeah. Look at Isido with the Nico here, has a lot more pressure in the mid lane. Creates a lot. Oh, and the electrocute there as well. Level two hits um, gets Proctor by Thug and Saito. It's like uh, Acid or Abigail going to pick that up as well now. Is the, you have that uh, a lot of healing on the side here, so you're actually really healthy really quickly. He had the potion and everything. Oh, taking some turret shots Thug. And Abagnale going to look for maybe the engage under the third here. A Saisu and Tug overextending. Maybe just a tiny bit, but look at mid lane. Isu winning out in terms of HP and mana now in the bot lane. Oh, Slice, Slice is here. Down in bot lane. There. Are they going to dive this? Mm, they are number three early. against number two. Teleport's also available there from both uh, ways and then Petoska. Now they just popped level 3. Uh, this is very dangerous. Yeah. And uh, Slice, you're actually losing some tempo there. Uh, so Flipper is actually open CS now. Um, and uh, now they also know exactly where Slice is and they should also know that he has not done the scuttle yet. Mm. Scuttle slash grump at least. Yeah. Oh, gets the engage. Look at bot lane thug here, going to be the target here. Flashes away, that's a heal as well. Azidur, first blood over to Nireki. Abagnale going to be the first targeted. Saito targeting Azidur, and that's a kill returned to Saito. However, uh, the thing is, down on bot lane here, so Nireki is finding that opportunity into thug. So thug gets super low, Ooh. and then they... Oh, Rage oh. Gang, be careful here. That thing gets slice. Yes. That is so much damage here. And also the turret shot going to help out as Saito. Going to trade back one and more auto. That's one kill oh, as gets Saito. It. Gets a kill in return. Oh, yeah, that is close, actually. Yeah, so, so that's that's totally fine what happens here for Rage Gang. So they trade just they, just... they simply just trade the junglers. They trade the, both the jungle slashes. Um, however, even though Saito loses his flash, it's a little bit unlucky. So they actually concede one extra flash. But if we're going to discuss what happened on the bot lane there. Um, Mid lane? Look at this. Tug has the opportunity to go okay. for a roam here. Wizen is a bit deep here. Oh, and Slice as well coming from he's the gonna, top side. He's looking. Oh, Wizen. That's... Oh, in the what engage that here. That is awful, uh, but... Uh, at still least we can see the engage is missing. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, with that, we're going yeah. to go to the pause screen as they are uh, pinging. Oh, okay, well, what is happening here, Master Mixer? Um, a jungle... Oh! <clears throat> jungle lag as uh, the jungler of Rage Gang DC'd just before that engage. That is really unfortunate, actually.
but I have to say, actually, Wei stepped way too far there, and Tug overextended for the ward. I believe he had an opportunity, like, yeah, if he went five or seven sec seconds earlier into mid lane there, I believe they at least would have forced out a flasher because it seems... I mean, it is close, though, on the engage here. It is, like, on the border uh, of hitting, but, yeah. Wayson is going to get that yeah, out. Yeah, I think, I think if... Um... If Thug went right away there, he had an opportunity to look for Wazen, but uh, he doesn't take that uh, opportunity, and uh, therefore you can easily see on the screen right now that uh, Wazen is uh, easily out of that uh, engage. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> As we're just waiting now for the game to get back going here. 2-2 is the score here as uh, Nirike leading with about 100 gold here. Oh, and that's a reconnect from the jungler of Rage Gang. I mean, I would be a bit scared uh, this time if they weren't, um, yeah, about the interim because it, it has been a lot of issues now. It is the fourth time? Fifth, maybe? Yeah, and uh, this time it's, um, it's it's jungler. So it's, it's a bit weird that Every game we see, it's it's a different person disconnecting. Um, and uh, the majority of these players are not playing from the same roof either. So no. it's just trash internet all over. That is, yeah, a bit unfortunate. Anyways, are we getting close here? Or uh, is uh, the internet here for Slice? Hmm. Yeah, we might be sitting here for a while. Uh, with that, I'm going to bring up a replay, actually. Yeah. Because, I mean... Why not, I guess? Uh, the engage here into the bottom side. Let's look at this. Seems about right. Yeah. So it is when the uh, slice here and uh, Saito as well overextends under the bottom side here. Gets the kill back onto Flipper though, Saito, but yeah. That damage that came through actually from the Jin Zhao and the Leona there was so high. That is... That is so much damage. Are we getting closer? Uh, how how long, long can you pause? So Nuruki is asking how long we, can you pause? Does this mean that... Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, seems that we oh, are ready, ready and going back into the game. Uh, yeah, in uh, five seconds here or so. Yeah. Good. That's the engage here as uh, Wazen gets out. He gets a bit of an advantage yeah. when he uh, does need to worry about that hitting the Rakan W. So look at Slice there as well now. So he's going to be pathing towards bot lane. They could be setting this up. Oh, Thug is caught. Thug uh, gets caught there. That's a kill over as Nirik picks up another kill here. And that means Saito is going to be left alone in the bottom side. And Flipper can just look for the kill here. Saito, you have to be careful. Where is your jungler? Flipper going to look for the kill. Abigail also going to look for the dive here. The root. Saito. That is Slice. Finding Flipper, Slice, and Aisu showing up here just to back up. Back up his AD carry. Yeah. He's uh, at least there to defend it. Forcing the Ricky off that bot line. Oh, look at this from Nuriki. They're sitting in the busher. Oh, Saito. Oh, that is so close. But Slicer is close to the bottom side. But Rich Gang going in and without vision. That's Azador. Abignail going to be the first way. target. Thug tries to get away. That's a little HP on the Rakan. They're going to go down. And there's Slicer backing up. As Abignail is probably going to go down. As it hurts. Don't, uh, no flasher on the Ezreal. So might be slow and some damage. Look in mid lane as well. Aizu going to go for a trade here against Wazen. Roman. Coming oh, from Look at Pandera though. He's getting uh, sandwiched. No, that looks to be a dangerous play there. Wayson tries to back off. There's a charm in style to Banderas, but that's a lot of damage. That's a kill going over. Banderas picks that up. I too. Oh, gets the root, but Flavor dodges that. Uses the uh, health. Oh, dodges. Oh, dodges He's still it? alive here, actually. There comes the Rakan as well to save him. As Rich Gang picks up, up the kill. As well. Look at this gets reset. They see back. Oh, Abigail, Abigail. Oh, oh gets the root there he blindly. Oh, yeah. Anyways, exciting. A lot of skirmishes going on across the map here. Both bot lane and top lane. Uh, 
But if we're gonna discuss the bot lane first, at least, um, we see that... That uh, Nereki is looking for a play and then they decide to not go for it and uh, for some reason Rich King thinks that this is just a free Leona kill and... It, I mean Slice was on the way and Rich King was blocking their path to their towers. So they could have just... Uh, they could have just waited for Slice to come. Um, but instead they engage a little bit early and Thug actually gives his life down in the bot line. So they actually only get... So they get the both kills but they have to give one in return. Which I think they could have... Uh, could have not done. Yeah. And uh, for the top line, they just take a 3 v 2 and uh, at least it ends in a 1v1, but it could have gone much worse. Hmm. I mean, but the result of this, though, look at Saito here. 3 0 0 with the uh, Saya in the bot lane here. Going to get a bit yeah, fed from that. And that's really scary because the thing is, if you play around this bot lane and you want to play around this Leona, you can't really engage on the Cyrocon. Because Saito is so strong right now and you can't lock him down either as, 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 a, as a Leona. So every time Saito has ultimate, he can just pop that whenever Leona is about to hit uh, an ultimate. So he's uh, super safe. Look at this though. That's Lice and Thug going to roam into the top side here. Uh, looking for the Herald, it seems that... Rich King wants to focus. Oh, this is dangerous. Thug has the positioning. Could look for an engage here. That's only a bit of poke there. Hmm. Going to push out the mid lane as well here. I see Thug going to show himself. Epic now level 5 here, going to go for the engager. Slice, Flipper, that's engage onto I see as well. That's a root. Look at top lane. Oh, Bandera's fighting Potoska. That's a big wave as well here. He has to wave. Look at Slice. Slice is on the oh, way here. Yeah, that's Potoska a flash force, definitely. Gonna be force of flash. Yeah. Good play there. And Switch Gang also starts up the Herald there. Going to use their advantage now on uh, with pressure and tempo. Lumef going to go over and look at Abigail level 6 here. Tug is only level 4 this time. That's an ulti they onto the Rakan. Going to just take him down instantly. Look at Abigail. That's Ice as well with a flank here. Going to get one more kill. Petoska getting a kill also. Look at Slice with a lot of damage here. And Vadera's trying to fight back, but nothing Rich Gang can do here as the hero. Going to Ooh, he almost two. steals that one. Yeah. Oh, so close. But uh, I don't believe Rishkin can really take these fights. So even though Wazen is reasoning there, and that they have the pressure in the lanes, <clears throat> he has TP. And uh, even though they, I mean, the same thing with with Batoski, Even though they get the flash, it doesn't really matter because they're so much weaker in that 44. Because the the person who has the gold right now is Saito, and Saito is stuck with Estrodon and Botlane. So you're actually fighting with the four weakest members in your team and. If you look on uh, Nariki as well, they had just much more gold in the top line, and yeah, it's, yeah, and as well, look at Thug. He was level four that fight. Yeah, and Abigail, he's level six. Again here, Thug, and the supportive difference between Abigail and uh, Thug. It is a bit hard to look at top lane. Potoska going to get one more Q and uh, shot off there with Gangplank. I see though, trying to carry the game here from the Nico. He has a lot more pressure this game when he plays the Nico here. Going to steal off the Raptor camp as well. Oh? They spotted them into okay. the brusher. Clipper not going to get a back off, but uh, the Leona. Abagnail here, level uh, 6 on Leona. Going to back off as uh, Thug gets his back off. But yeah, the big supportive differences between uh, Abagnail and Thug this game. Yeah, and you just see the pressure here from uh, Risky using it really well. And uh, just uh, trying to look at least. But uh, Nariki has good understanding of what's going on. And uh, look mid lane now. I see. Oh, that's a bit deep. Going to go upwards. That's engaged he, onto the wrong. You see the one to the left? Yeah, he is. He does this I very see. often where he doesn't oh. really run back to the lane. And he does the most unpredictable things. Hmm. That is going to be at least one or two platings here for Nariki, though. Going to pick that up, and the gold lead starting to get away here for Niriki, getting some extra gold in their pockets. Look at the Drake, though, up here. Drake's a bit dangerous, though, because Saito is on the bot side, and uh, there's no GP ultimate right now. Teleport's available from the top laners, though. 
I see. Yeah, but Dumderos has ultimate while GP doesn't, so I would say this is a rich game favorite soon. Or yeah. maybe not. I mean, think is still level 5. Doesn't oh, have the ultimate. Look at Slicer gets caught off. That's him gets ultimate away here, trying to get back off, but Slice going to go down here as Azador picks up another kill in the bottom side here. That might be the Drake also going over to Niriki. Yeah, the game is just not going in the, the way Rich King wants it to go. And I think the big issue here is that Thug is just so far behind. He's still level 5. He he needs to get ultimate as quickly as possible. Because if you have the, the Rakan ultimate, you can change so much in that teamfight. And without that ultimate, you can easily say that Rich King is hesitant, hesitant on the fight there. And... Slice uh, gets caught because of it as well. Um, yeah, look at Saito going to front line here, but oh, you Saito. don't have vision of the jungler here, Thug. That's yeah, at least they uh, back off there. They uh, they actually did not see Flipper, but they have to acknowledge that they can't go for this. They just back off. Look at the mid lane, though. Uh, Stun here from Isaac. Uh, going to look for a trade onto Wason. He has a little bit of HP, but uh, yeah. Not going to go down there, but gets the damage off. And Isa going to push down the turret here in the mid lane. Still trying to carry off the gamer from the mid lane position. And uh, finally, uh, Thug just reached level 6. Um, which also will allow Scythe to, to fight uh, more heavily in lane. Uh, Locked yeah. top lane here now. Just back from this risk, okay? You got the ultimate from uh, Potoska. I think you have to... Uh... Yep, that's good. Uh... They don't go through with that dive, and that's really good. They force the GP ultimate, and uh, that's a pretty big cooldown. So they should be happy with that. Yeah. Look at bot lane, though. Look, look bot lane now. I think they oh, have the information. Yeah, that, that is a possible dive here. Look at Thug. Has the position there. Could look for Azadur. He go only goes for the turret, though. As uh, that is also in Flipper going uh, down here. The sixth sense uh, of uh, Rage Gang, though. He's uh, warning them. Yeah, he's uh, skipping all the wards. Ah, I see Flipper walking back and forth there. He was, you see, he wants to look mid lane, but uh, he knows he can't, so he's uh, now on the Raptors. Top lane, look at Petoska here, going to get engaged on. There is Banderas, the slow goes down. Petoska, in a 1v2 here, that's a Gangplank going to go down. Oh, looks for the kill here, but that's a flash rate oh, from Banderas. That's so close. Oh. Yeah, and the bottom side though, Asager and Abagnale going to punish if they uh, look at them. Yeah, if Rich can backs off here. There's not TP on Potoska either here, so I guess Flipper has to try and defend this and... Top lane, Banderas. That's a low HP. Vladimir gets a healing off here. Flipper going to still be looking for Banderas. Here, he has a flash though. Gets away. That's the ultimate under the turret of Flipper. A bit deep. They're going to go down. And Banderas with the Banderas damage here. This. That's a Vladimir going to chase down. Double kill to Banderas. Red buff ticking down there and helping. Yeah, Nuriki. I mean... You just can't take that fight. Um, Flipper tries to find Vanderas there, but Vanderas, he's so safe on that, uh, that Vladimir. He has that pool. Um, same thing with Slice. He has that flash there, and even though Flipper also flashes, he can't get that knock up, and Wason is just too far behind. So uh, Flipper just engages a little bit too early there, and um, and then they overextend under the tower and get uh, completely punished for it. Yeah, and as well in the bottom side here, when Saito, he has a lot more damage now on the Saya and Thug, level 6, so he has a lot more opportunities to look for uh, in this game. And the Herald is going to go down here, so uh, Tempo going up here for Rich Gang, trying to get some advantages back on their side here. Look at Vladimir as well here, 4-1-1 um, one, one in the top side. Oh, Saito. And a bit of a 1, oh, and Blue Buff going to go over to Iso as well. Doesn't let it get stolen away from Asitur. Hmm. 150. Look at the push towards bot lane here. Abigail and Asitur are still going to look for something, but the Leona. The game is now actually all of a sudden looking much better for Rich Gang, actually, because of that, what happened in the top lane. And they get the Rift here also. If you look at the goalie right now, it's, it's around 1k advantage to Nuriki, but with this Rift Herald, you can force a first tower in the mid lane. Yeah, but look at the uh, here, Bandera. That's a bit dangerous here from Flipper. Flipper. No flash here. 
Just going to force that ultimate off and uh, flip her. Bit deep this time, but look at this. Nice. Or to yeah, there's the uses... Rift oh, And they're gonna get the first tower as well but now. But Dirica insta punishes. Look at this. All five members heading towards the mid lane here. Petoska, Azitur, and Abigail. But that's first turret. Thug, the positioning here. Look at Baderas uses the pool here on the Vladimir. That's engaged, and that's Thug into the backline with Rakan here. Look at, look at Aizu with the Nico here. That's a wombo combo. And Rich Gang, they love team fighting this game. Look at the kills there goes through. Rich Gang, that's a triple kill over to Aizu. Yep, Rich Gang should just be able to pick up this uh, Drake as well from this team fight. And I, I have to question what Ricky is doing here. Like, you can't engage. This is Luana just can't find those engages. So, but theirs gets super low there, yeah. But he has so many defensive tools. And as you can see there, the Rakan ultimate gets four charms there. And it allows Icy to line up that ultimate of his perfectly together with Thug. And there's just nothing there Ricky can do. And yeah. as well, Saito was there. He has to flash if he needs to go aggressive. And both Vladimir, Aisu, and Saito are really strong right now. So the carries, or how to say this, the important uh, players on Rich Gang, they're all the ones that have the gold right now. You have Saito, Niku, and Vladimir. Like all of these champions oh. have uh, have, to have the gold. Oh, Saito forced to flash. Yeah. But yeah, but just look at the difference as well here. When Thug is playing an engaged support like Rakan instead of the Leona and has level 6 here on the Rakan, that is such a huge difference now in these team fights. And uh, it is only going to get worse here as you have the Wombo Kobo, the Nico, Bandera's on the Vladimir, you have the uh, uh, Saya going to peel herself, and the Rakan here. That team fight is going to look so scary in the late game here from Rage Gang, and Flipper is going to fall off in uh, terms of scaling. Asitor as well is going to have less impact in the late game, I think. So this is going to be looking very hard here for Niriki going forward. Yeah, and uh, if we also look at that fight, the thing about Astral is that you want to try and poke as much as possible as well that fight, then you can try and like, use oh. GP. Epic Nail, this oh, is a bit okay. deeper. Rare Thug here has the ultimate available, could go for something. They're just going to back off here. Saito's doing red buff right now. You don't want to fight without this man. Oh, but look at the Drake here spawning in three minutes. Another Infernal Drake this game. Aizu going to pick off that ward. It seems there is another one here. Yeah, going to get that Aizu. Going on the supportive duty. He, we know he loves to play supportive mid laners, but this time he's actually clearing the wards as well here for Rich Gang. But for Niriki uh, here. Look at this vision uh, for Rich Gang as well. Look how much control they have over Niriki's. Uh jungle right now. We're gonna be able to steal oh, this blue. Mm, yeah, that goes over yeah. to side to as well here, so we're going to be a really strong uh, side at this uh, time. Bandera's getting the push off in the bot lane as well. Just going to split push this and uh, clearing the waiver at the same time, but Nirike going to look for an engage I mean, but Front lining, oh. what is that? The damage goes through. Nirike picks up a kill here. Going to punish Flick or overstand him blindly into Fog of War. Yeah, you're playing a Rakan right now. You can't be doing this. Oh, but, but the Baron is start starting here. Baron. Um, 14 seconds on Thug here. That's a punish from a GP ultimate. And Banderas is really deep here, actually, as uh, Niriki. They want to shut down here. Thug. That's a 650. It's, it's, it's scared to chase him, though. If they chase, they can't chase Banderas, though. Because then uh, Rich King will just go back on Baron. Hmm. Oh. But uh, they will at least get the mid lane tower for uh, their efforts, at least. Look at this. I too. Oh, don't yeah. overset. Oh, he just gets up and the pink ward as well, so. No, he doesn't, actually. Take though, this time. And, uh... He's going to be a bit more careful, I think, this. That is going yeah, also so good. Yeah. Can't really face check these uh, bushes as well, like he did there. Or, like, it's at least stand. He can't be standing on ward, at least. Um, and you have this Nico that can check all the bushes for you with that clone. And the, look here, now they're back on the Baron. That is really deep, Thug. This time, going to back up fast. The Baron has been started here. Master makes it. That is going to be dangerous. Thug uses the ultimate hit. This time on Rakan, going to go into the back line here. Flashes away. That's a steal away Rainbow here. Nirike gets the steal off as Flipper into the Baron pit here. Going to get one kill at least. 
Great Scan going to back off here. That Flick trying to get a knock off, but slides here into the back line. Flick and Saito trying to fight off the enemy team here. That's a lot of damage from the Saya, but double kill over to Azitur. Look at the damage here. Thrift, triple kill here to Azitur. And that's, Yeah, that's just a disaster for Rich King. So, what I find really interesting here is that they tried to force Flipper away so they can try and secure the Baron. But the thing is, he has Flash. So he can get into that pin anyway. Like, you don't... First of all, he has the ultimate that can protect him from the range damage. And then, he is in range to Flash over the... into the pit. So... I guess they were just gambling the fact that he didn't have the vision to see the Baron HP, but the moment he gets in the pit, he can steal the Baron, and I found it a bit weird that Risking doesn't turn there, because they're starting this Baron in the in the sense that they want to force a fight, but then they don't turn, and he managed to steal that Baron. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, it just seems to be uh, a bit of greed from Risking's side. Uh, like, they're just coin flipping things that they don't have to coin flip, because... I think their draft is is really good in the sense that they have the gold and all the important players. The Vladimir is scaling exceptionally well this game. Oh, look at the positioning here though from Saito going to get uh, Sone here uh -huh. from the enemy team. That's a Baron Buff started. Banderas into the back line oh, here. Banderas? There's Ice as well. Gets a triple stun here with a Nico. That's a lot of damage. Abigail picks up the first killer. Saito into the back line here. Doesn't get anything off here. That's a Wombo Combo. At the Draco or the Rage Gang with that sick ace here from Niriki. Going to clean up everybody. And that's a triple get over to Azizur as well this time. 9, 1 and 4 on the S roll. Yeah, and uh, you see once again from Risk Gang here, like, they're not in a position to really fight that Drake. Saito, I mean, Saito's on a different, uh, different position at all. He's, uh, he's on his, he's on a flank, the a AD care flank, apparently, and, uh, I mean, that's obviously not good. So, uh, there's just not much he can do there, and, uh, and, but there's actually engages there without Saito being in the position, so... It just seems to be a little bit of miscommunication with it within Rich Gang right now, where they don't have the understanding how, of how strong they really are. Because I just find that really weird that they engage there. Because they, yeah. they, ha they have no reason to engage there. They can. I don't mind them starting the Drake, but uh, you, you saw as well from Ricky that they weren't stepping forward. They were taking it really slow. So Rich Gang could have just waited for Sizer to come there, and then they could have done the fight, but instead they. They pull the trigger so early and they get punished. Yeah, and now it's actually time for Rage Gang to start thinking about their place a little bit more here. Like, set up for Saito, set up for Nico, and for Banderas as well in the top side here. Get the fight going and let Thug go for the engage here on Rakan, because when you engage with Nico and Banderas just into the front line like that, without Saito being in position, you just lose the fight. And Niriki is going to punish that in the future. Look at this though. Hex Flash. That's an engage onto Saito here, going to use the Sai ultimate, try to disengage, but still alive here, going to go down. Flipper gets a kill onto Saito here, but there is in the back line here. That looks like a good fight for Niriki Petoska with the teleport inside into the back line here. Banderas also. One kill back here over to Rage Gang, going to get that as Asitor going I to chase flash. down Banderas. Hmm. Yeah, but there should be out of this at least, so it's just a one-for-one one exchange. But uh, they do get Saito, which is uh, the main source damage from uh, Rich Gang, and they should just get the top tower here. Yeah, and look at the gold lead now. 5k about for uh, Niriki going to push down the top side. On so if we're going to discuss a little bit of uh, how Niriki actually... No, how Rich Gang wants to play this game. Oh, look at there. It's just a bit lame. Okay. Mm. Yeah, he's gonna get through camps as well now. If he wants to take the red buff. Bandera's doing Bandera stuff this game. Yeah. That is okay. Yep. Totally fine. Steals away the red at least. Uh, but look how strong the Astral is now. And that is such an issue for Rich King as well. Because the way Rich King actually wants to play this game is that you don't need to force these fights. You can wait for Nariki to run into you. And then you win the fight. You've seen all these fights where... Nariki has gone into them and it's just turned into uh, how to say this like it's just turned so wonderful for both on theirs and Saito and Aizu like they get to hit everything because Nariki is forced to go into you and the thing is they are not forced to go into you anymore because the Astral has so good poke now in the sense that he's 9-1 so now they actually have damage to play the game 
the way they want to play the game. And yeah. now Rich Gang is probably going to be forced to jump to them. And that's really bad because they want to, they want to, both teams are want to play from the back, play slowly. And Rich Gang was in such a good position in the sense that they had more objectives and they had the gold on all the important players. Yeah. So they've just thrown the entire leader they had uh, pretty much. Uh, but the only good thing is Slice got the Drake, so they're also open at least. But getting that Drake is Look gonna be there, so the flanker gets flavored. That's a lot of damage. And look at Ice who gets a triple stun here. And that's also the Ezreal down here. As you're insta dead here from Ice. A wonderful play from the middle lane. Or Rich can go into chase up. Tells got the next target here gets a double charm here. Banderas into the back line. That's her. You're going to look for something here on the Rakan. A bit deep though, but Rich Gang picks up the kill just before the Baron, Baron is, is spawning. And a Drake as well here. 40 seconds on that. And Asager probably not going to be alive until the fight here. Rich Gang though uses a lot of abilities and summoners here for that fight. So uh, the Drake here, the Baron first going to be started off, and that is going to be some gold. If you get a reset here before that Drake as well, that's a uh, Soul Dragon with Infernal going to be so scary here for Niriki if Rich Gang gets that off. That's a Drake. Look at this though, the teleport insta 14 seconds until the Drake spawns here. You're not going to get a reset as well. Rich Gang. Going to try and get his tempo off. This is scary. Saito, don't overextend here. That's the Hex Splash. Abigail going to get off. Look at Drake just giving that off as the inhibitor. Just give that Drake, yeah. What Rich King is doing here is completely correct. Just concede the Drake. There's no way you're getting a position for that. And uh, they're just pushing the lanes now. But still, you have the s well on timer. You knew he was not going to be in a fight here. You had the positioning. Actually. But the Rich King chooses not to go for something like that. Not going to risk anything as the Drake goes on to near Ricky. Still at on soul point though for Rich Gang. I mean without getting the resets there, I think it's gonna be really difficult for Rich Gang to get into the position there, because if they reset they're forced to go through their own jungle and uh, even though Estral is gonna be a bit late, he's gonna be there in time because Rich Gang can't just face check. So oh. uh Another I, I, I honestly believe it's just better to trade off the Drakester, uh, the, the Drake for the for the Golden. Now they have the bomb power play and they can at least pressure while they're scaling. So it's not the end of the world and they're still in Soul Point while Nerik is not. So I think this is uh, this is for the better at least for Rich King and they have a they have a way of coming back at least uh, even though they've done these mistakes. Yeah, and we're actually going to take a look at the replay here from... Uh, oh, um, here's the impulse as well. Oh, is it? Actually, then we're going to go yeah. back into the uh, game here. That's like the fifth pause this game? Hmm. Yeah. Apparently, we have a lot of pauses for this game. Look at this over third, going to frontline. Abigail still looking for disengages on the Leona here. That's a lot of good things here for Niriki. Let's remove the chat here. Yeah. There's not much that Rishki can do with this uh, Baron though, because they've taken all the two, two turrets, so... It's just going to be pressure and taking the enemy jungle camps. Hmm. More than that, you can't really do. No. So I guess at right now, they're probably just waiting for Soul, really. Just, so, yeah. But there is just frontlining and uh, flanking in top side. But there is a bit deeper. Uses the ultimate to try and get away here. That's engaged in the mid lane as well. Gets a thousand HP back from that ulti, but still not syncing up the waves here in mid, top, and bottom. So Niriki not going to get punished for that Baron buff. That's just going to be a lot yeah, of. Yeah, and we've funnel. seen this as well from uh, from risking a lot. I don't know if you've noticed, but Isu picks ignite very often mid lane, so they never have this TP to play the one for one. Oh. So they're forced to do a 1-4 and it's just not enough to like pressure Nariki. Because you need to do a 1-3-1 here with the Baron buff if you want to pressure this point of the game. Hmm. Yeah, it seems that uh, Rich Gang now going to swap and uh, use the bottom wave as well here as I assume maybe going to solo stay in the mid lane for the uh, Baron yeah. buff. And look at top lane, Flipper going to fight with Vanderas, but that's a scary Vladimir. And look at the turret in top side as well. The turret's going down top side. That's engaged onto bot lane. They're going to use the ulti only for this engagement. Look at that damage Ooh, though. Solo. 
Asi Church just one-shotting almost with that damage. But Banderas and Iso in the top lane going to get that turret as well. That means the base is completely open almost with uh, only one turret standing here in front of the inhibitors. Yeah, so this is really good from Rich King. So they... Uh... I, do, I really love what they did there. Uh, they had the pressure in the mid lane constantly, and then they moved bot lane to force down the, the Astral. And he was the one that was doing the most to these minions. And uh, then uh, Aizu can just uh, solo push with this uh, mid wave. And, and there's nothing Seraphine really can do to bear minions on her own. So uh, Aizu just gets to pick up that free tower mid lane, and then he gets to rotate to top lane as well, because I have to defend bot. And uh, they just get two free turrets for it. So it's just. Just good macro from uh, Risk King there, and uh, yeah, look at they're getting now. a reset as well. Probably yeah. gonna set up the Drake. jungle vision now. Yeah, I mean Drake is not yet; it's not gonna spawn yet, though. They have a lot of time still for it, so I think they're just gonna try and set up the enemy jungle very soon. That should be at least the next objective, in my opinion. Yeah. 1 minute and 15 seconds here until that Drake is going to spawn, and if we were in LCK this time, I believe that both teams would have been setting up vision completely around that Drake, because that is important. The Soul Dragon here for Rich Gang going to decide a lot of the game now. Having nail. Oh! Oh, oh he that the recall there as so well. So close, actually. The thing is, Doug knows he's an award as well. That is that is a risky back there from Thug. Yeah, yeah. You made a lot of mistakes this game, Thug. You shouldn't make that one. But yeah. He gets and off though. The th yeah, the, th the funny thing as well, Thug has no reason to like be stressed or stressed out about that recall because you have so much time on this uh, on this drag. Besides, Saito was reasoning as well. Like he was much later than you anyway. Uh, so Thug doesn't need to risk that. Yeah. Um, but look now, look at the pressure Bandeos is doing. He's so that much stronger than that. So than disgusting. Right Two now. players actually have to respond to Waze and, and Potoska. He might be able to look for the 1v2 here as well. So Baneros going to be fighting now. 1v2 might get inhibitor Thug. That negates Azadry, the first target. Thug uses the ult on Rokan here. Gets the inhibitor this time. Look at the damage here. Banderas gets the inhibitor and... Stopwatch here, we're going to heal. That's the ulti flashes Ooh, away from Wayson. So Look at the 1v2 here from Banderas. Going to go down, though, but the engage here. That is Aizu getting a triple stun again here on the Nico. Look at the damage here. Saito just disengaging and dealing so much damage on the Saya this time. The flank here, Saito. What a flash was that. Wonderful. Rich Gang, though, going to give up the great this time. I have a nail. Saito a bit deeper, gets a kill off. Look at Saito. That's a lot of damage. Double kill over here to this Saito. I are going to disengage, but again, the Drake goes over here to Nirik, and they are also on soul point now this time, and Barabeth might be on the table. So, I was paying attention to top lane there. I was just watching Badaris to be running there. Uh, really cleanly mechanic play by Badaris, but he was sucking two players. How was Rich Gang losing that 3 of 4 That's what I'm wondering now. Like, I, I guess they lost it because they were overextending in the enemy jungle and then they couldn't start the Drake for some yeah, reason. And again, Thug doesn't and get the engage there with the Rakan. He tries to go for something, but he gets gets nothing and looks at the damage here. Thug going to get the engage onto Asadur. That's a lot of damage. The teleport inside here from Banderas as well. Going to back up, but Ooh, that is sniped. the Rakan dead already in this fight. Look at Banderas a bit deep this time. As Saito going to go down here to Asadur. Gets a kill down and that is... Yeah, three That's members disaster. down here from They game. should just look for Baron now. You have GP just holding this wave. There's no way they're risking pressure as well now, so... Oh. We can just uh, shove mid. Nirikido and might just be looking just for... Just yeah. yeah, might be the game, uh, or at least the inhibitor in the mid lane here. Uh, That's really greedy if they try to go for the end there. Um, so, uh, as well, like, Aizu could just clean up that wave uh, if they try to push mid. So it's just better to go Baron here. And uh, to start that up then. Since Nuriki actually won that fight, th first of all, they should not have won that. And because they won it, they got Drake. Meaning both teams are on soul point now. So if Rich can just one more mistake this game, it's over. And they to be very blunt and frank quite frankly, they've done a lot of mistakes this game. That has been punished by Nuriki why uh, all the times pretty much. And even though I really favor the Rich Gang draft, they have been doing so many blunders, and I don't know, they've just had so many opportunities to close out this game, but 
they've just not been able to pull it off and uh, Ricky is clawing their way back into this game. Yeah, and look at the Astral with uh, 20. now. Yeah, 20,000 gold here in his pockets. Acid are going to do a lot of damage. As, uh, yeah, Saito still trying to get some gold, trying to get his full build going this time. 36 minutes into the game here, so... Isn't he full build already? Or is that, like, one oh. small item off? It's one small item off, I think, right? Yeah, okay. That's a BF sword yeah. in his inventory. Drake spawning in two minutes here as Nuriki pushes down a mid lane turret uh, and a mid lane wave here. Look at this though. Saito. Oh, that's a bit deep. Trying to get the engage here. No flash as he gets the root down I'm onto Abignail. Ulti force out uh, here from uh, Abignail though. Oh, Saito. Uh, Nuriki will uh, be really happy about that because uh, Leona ult is lower cooldown and. Uh... Saito has no flash currently, meaning that he can't play that far up. And uh, that allows both Astral and uh, the entire Nurik squad to be uh, much more aggressive. Look at the Since, positioning here uh, around the yeah. Drake now. If uh, yeah, Petoski getting a reset off here on the gangplank as well, going to push down the top lane, making sure that is not a threat to Nuriki as they push down the bottom lane here. Yeah, and he has TP, so he uh, can easily join this uh, team fight if he, uh, if uh, if it, if it's is forced. So, uh... oh, look here! Ooh, I see. I mean, it's just uh, I see sh showing off a clone, and uh, yeah, I think Nurik is playing this really slow. I like what Nurik is doing here. They're taking the game slowly. They know that the Drake is uh, gonna spawn any moment, and this is gonna be the probably gonna be the winning factor here of uh, of the game. And uh, look at Abigail, it's behind them. Oh, that's a wonderful engage against Drake. That's an insta Sonya though from the support here. Double charm air ways and gets everybody. Look at Azure in the back line here, gets engaged on by multiple members, but that is Nuriki getting a lot of kills here. Manderas gets a shut down onto the AD carrier. Azure already dead here as Tug. Try to get some damage off, but Nuriki going to win this fight. And with that, I think they're going to win this series as well. Look at Slicer just going to go down. Nuriki, wonderful team fight here as Abigail engages. And with that, it also seems to be the game, as uh, only Thug here is left to yeah, defend there's that. there's nothing Thug can do here, so this is game... I don't know, there's not much Risking can really do at this point of the game, I think. They just lost so much of the game. They had full control of this game, and uh, I think that Risking gave this game away. That This, this should have been their game. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, Nariki punishes all the mistakes that Risking has done this game, and therefore they win it, and... Uh, you have to praise them for at least punishing these mistakes, and that's what makes... That's that's what you can't do in Taylor Masters. Like, you can't do these mistakes because you're meeting really good opponents. And they will punish those mistakes that you do. Yeah. So, every small flaw you have in your team, or if you're not doing well one day, like... Uh, I don't think, like, Thug, he was doing a lot of mistakes this game, like level 4 to level 6. And you can easily see that Abignail is punishing Thug from being level 4. He's constantly moving on the map. He's forcing plays. He's pressure, uh, applying pressure. And because of these mistakes, you get punished. And it's so good to see that Nuriki does this. And uh, they turn this game around extremely well. And uh, it's it's fantastic to see. Yeah, it is actually well played here by Nuriki. Well deserved victory as well as they punish this. Uh, yeah, they punish really hard here. But that means we're going to be done with the series as well here, Master Mixer. So let's get a final um, yeah, MVP here for Nireki as they won the game too as well here. Hmm. Yeah, um, a final MVP, I mean... Uh, I guess the easiest one to say would be Astral, obviously. Um, but... Uh, I don't know, I think, I think again, I personally think Wazen played a good again. He, he has been playing very cleanly and solid on the surf in these two games, but uh, I think uh, Aceter came back really good this game. Uh, I'm going to give him the MVP. Yeah, Aceter as well there, as in, uh, and Go. I want to give an honorable uh, there to the support of Nirik as well. Abigail doing a lot of work on the Leona this time, but with that, 
as a jury going to be the MVP for game number two here. And with that, yeah, we're I going think uh, Nail uh, carried uh, kind of the early game of how Nuriki went, I would say, uh, because Rikin was getting a lot of pressure in the early game. Like you saw how much control they had, and uh, you like Abignail forcing all these fights, forcing all this pressure because his opponent thug is level four. Therefore, he can actually soak some of this pressure that Rich King has, and he can apply some of his own pressure. So it's um, it's it's really good the uh, support play. Yeah, it is. But with that, Master Mixer, thank you for today as we are going to finish off the stream here. We'll be back tomorrow with the game between... Uh, I don't even remember. Two seconds there. That is going to be between Eminem Gaming and Rich Gang at 6 o'clock tomorrow. So, yeah. That is going to be an interesting game. But thank you for today's stream. Thank you for everybody who is watching these games. It is really fun to follow... Uh, to be following Rich Gang here uh, in Telemasters. Interesting games, a lot of excitement and good plays. And yeah, just wonderful gameplay. Anyways, thank you, Master Mixer, and goodbye, everybody. Take care. Bye. Comes Flavor as well. Does have the flash here. Goes in on Tug. Oh, hits that. that is a flash away from the Leona. Still no heal there. There's a flash from Abigail. And that seems to be first blow over to Flavor here. Jin Zhao taking over the kill there. Uh, opposing teamer getting the turtle kill versus Rich Gang getting punished there. Yeah. What was to see that uh, dragon? Oh, Flipper. Look at bot lane side. Oh, that's... Ooh, a flash force out there. Wonderful play here from the Ricky. That means they have knowledge over Slice and uh, where he's going to path for the next seconds. Going to Orvix then now. Tosca, that's a bit deep here. This gun goes through here. Tosca going to get Dove here. And that's a kill over to Banderas as well in the top side. That yeah, and... Um... He gets on to Bob though, that's no but going down Abigail. The ult goes down from Slice 2, going to look for the kill under the turret. Oh, the flash there, Abigail getting out here into the bomb side. Terrible for H Gang. And still have flash and the orange here, yeah. Oh, it's helpful yeah, there. TP goes from Banderas as well. Shows himself now. That's a dive here onto the gangplank. Potoska just going to get dove here. Bandera is going to pick up the kill there in the top side. And that's the open going to Slice. Ooh. That's a big team fight. One kill goes over. Rich can pick up another one here in a fight here. And Slice on the bo bottom side here. But Bandera is still alive. Trying to fight up with Fiora. Get one more kill here. That's a double kill over to the Fiora here. Look under the turret as Azidur picks up another kill. That's the Ricky. With a full ace here at 15 minutes into the game. Which can kind of contest this? I don't think they can. Uh, I should just can see this. Oh, this is dangerous. Nariki going to look for the player. The ulti over the wall here. Abigail going to follow up there as Tug is going to be the target for the fighter and gets knocked up. And that's a root down onto the support here as Nariki picks up another kill here. That is dominance. Up the lane like completely. Look at this though, Nariki. Fine. Four members here. Going to be. Uh, that's the engage here, also from Abignail, going to look for Slice or the wall here, but he gets out, and that's the Gangplank ult used as well as the flash from Rakan there. Yep, and as well. Still getting shattered here by Banderas and his teammates, Rich Gang getting the fight off here, that's a beautiful team fight. Rich Gang, you done it again here, trying to get a lot of the kills here. He's done a full ace also, getting down here, Patoska, the last member of the Ricky Saito. There's one more auto and that... Uh, that's why you can't do those early barons, especially not when Rich Gang has five members alive. That's oh, all around Tugger the using the open on the Leona. There's the engage Flipper, the first target that Tug gets knocked into the backline here. Whoa, the damage here comes through from Niriki. That's a lot of damage. Double kill over to Wason as well as uh, Rage Gang does get. 
destroyed in that fight. He gets sniped, but that's not enough time to pick up the first kill in the fight here. Look at Enrique in the pit here. Oh, no no open though. So this is going to be a good fight here for Banderas and Rich Gang. Look at the engager. Just a double kill over to that gangplank. Good kill of everybody. Triple kill over to that gangplank. But look at Banderas. Ooh, going to be Bit of uh, mind games here of where is gonna go. Oh. Maderas, he gets the uh, oh, slow gets there, the and that's a dead Petuska, it seems like. Rich Gang, Banderas, with a flag there as well, going to secure the kill and the fight here for Rich Gang. Free if he wants to. I think this is a what? Oh, that's so dangerous, so in the backside here. Look at Nerakov, Petuska getting the kills here. And that's a disgusting Wobble Combo, Niriki gets the fight here. Two kills over. The door, but that's the Rakan side to going in way too deep. It gets engaged on by Flavor, gets the old deal back there. But that is Vanderas not going down here as Vanderas not even showing up. Getting the kills here. Niriki gets a clean AC triple kill over to that as a tour. As that is maybe the gamer even for I think Grump at least. Yeah. Oh, gets the engage. Look at both lane thug here, going to be the target here. Flashes away, that's a heal as well. Azidur, first blood over to Nireke. Abagnale going to be the first targeted. Saito targeting Azidur, and that's a kill return to Saito. Looks like Thug is super low, Ooh. and then they... Oh, no. Rage Gang, be careful here. That thing gets slides. Yes. That is so much damage here. And also the turret shot going to help out as Saito. But to trade back one more auto. That's one kill oh, as Saito. It. Gets a kill in return. Oh, yeah, that is good. Hitting the Rakan W. So look at Slice there as well now. So he's gonna be pathing towards both line. They could be setting this up. Oh, Thug is caught. Thug uh, gets caught there. That's a kill over as Nirik takes up another kill here. And that means Saito is going to be left alone in the bottom side. And Flipper can just look away over that late, late fee on the Rakan. They're going to go down. And there's Slice backing up. As Abagnale is probably going to go down. As it hurts, don't uh, no flash here on the S roll, so might be slow and some damage. Look at mid lane as well. I do going to go for a trade here against Waste. Uses the uh, health. Oh, dodges. Oh, he's still in live air actually. There comes Rakan as well to save him. As Rich can pick up the as well. Look at this reset. Yeah, they see it. Oh, Abagnale, Abagnale. Oh, oh gets the root there the blindly. Oh, yeah. It's on to Aizu as well, that's a route. Um, look at top lane. Oh, Bandera's fighting Petoska, that's a big wave as well here. He has the wave. Because Slice, Slice is in the oh, way here. Yeah, that's Petoska a flash got, force, definitely. Got a big force of flash. Yeah. Good play there, and Switch Gang also starts off the Herald there. Going to use their advantage now on the... Wait, on the going to just take him down instantly. Look at Abagnale, that's Ice as well with a flank here. Going to get one more kill, Petoska getting a kill also. Look at Slice with a lot of damage there, and Banera's trying to fight back, but nothing Rich Gang can do here as the Herald. Going to oh, he almost two. does have one. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at Slicer gets caught off. That's the engage all the way here, trying to get back off, but Slice going to go down here as Azador picks up another kill in the bottom side here. That might be the Drake also going over to the Ricky. Yeah, he's uh, now the Raptors. Top lane, look at Petoska here, going to get engaged on. There is Banderas, the slow goes down. Petoska, needing 1v2 here. That's a gangplank going to down. Oh, looks for the killer, but that's a flash wave from Banderas. Oh, that's so close. Oh. Filling off here, Flipper going to still be looking for Banderas. Here, he has a flash though, gets away. That's the ultimate under the turret of Flipper. A bit deep, they're going to go down. And Banderas with the Banderas damage here, that's a Vladimir going to chase down. Double kill to Banderas. Red buff taking down there and helping. Look at Banderas, uses the pool here on the Vladimir. That's engaged and that's stuck into the backline with Rakan here. Look at Aizu with the Nico here. That's a wombo combo. And Rich Gang, they love team fighting this game. Look at the kills there goes through. Rich Gang, that's a triple kill over to Aizu. I have this uh, time. Banderas getting the push off in the bot lane as well. Just going to split push this and uh, clearing the waiver at the same time. But Niriki going to engage him back. Cross lining, oh. what is that? The damage goes through. Niriki picks up a kill here. Going to punish Flick or overstand him blindly into Fog of War. Gets the steal off as Flaper into the Baron Pit. They're going to get one kill at least. 
Great Scan going to back off here. That Snake trying to get a knockoff, but slides here into the back line. Snake and Saito trying to fight off the enemy team here. That's a lot of damage from the Saya, but double kill over to Azitur. Look at the damage here. Thri triple kill here to Azitur. The triple stun here with the Nico. That's a lot of damage. Abigail picks up the first killer. Saito into the back line here. Doesn't get anything off here. That's a wombo combo. As the Drake goes over the race game, but that's a case here from the Ricky. Going to clean up everybody. And that's a triple get over to Azizor as well this time. 9, 1, and 4 on the S roll. Flipper gets a kill onto Saito here, but there is in the back line here. That looks like a good fight for Niriki. Potosko with the teleport inside into the back line here. Banderas also. One kill back here over to Rage Gang. Going to get that as Asitor going I to chase flash. down Banderas. So the flank here gets Flipper. That's a lot of damage. And look at Ice who gets a triple stun here. And that's also the Ezreal down here. Asitor insta dead here from Ice. A wonderful play from the middle lane. Rage Gang going to chase up with Tuska. The next target here gets a double charm here. Banderas yeah. into the backline. That's Hug. You're going to look for something here on the Rakan. A bit deep. Uh, Drake here. Baron first going to be started off. And that is going to be some gold. If you get a reset here before that Drake as well. That's a uh, Soul Dragon with Infernal. Going to be so scary here for... Niriki, if Rick can get that off, that's a Drake. Look at this though, the teleport insta. 14 seconds until the Drake spawns here. You're not going to get a reset as well. So, Solo. Asitur just one shotting almost with that damage. But the is an Izo in the top lane going to get that turret as well. That means the base is completely open almost with uh, only one turret standing here in front of the inhibitors. Yeah, so this is really good from Rich King. So. They, uh... here. That is Izu getting a triple stun again here on the Nico. Look at the damage here. Saito just disengaging and dealing so much damage on the Saya this time. The flank here, Saito. What a flash was that. Wonderful. Rich Gang though going to give up the great this time. I have a nail. Saito a bit deeper. Gets a kill off. Look at Banderas as well. Going to back up. But that is the Rakan dead already in this fight. Look at Banderas a bit deep this time. And Saito going to go down here to Azizu. Gets a kill down. And that is... Yeah, three That's members disaster. down here from Rage Gang. should just look for Baron now. You have GP just holding this wave. There's no... Batman here gets engaged on by multiple members, but that is Niriki getting a lot of kills here. Banderas gets shut down onto the AD carrier. As they're already dead here as Thug. Try to get some damage up, but Niriki going to win this fight. And with that, I think they're going to win the series as well. Look at Slicer just going to go down. Niriki, what... Really do at this point of the game, I think. They just lost so much of the game. They had full control this game and uh, I think that Rich King gave this game away. That this this should have been their game. Yeah. Um but uh but yeah Nariki punishes